All right. Okay, I haven't streamed on this computer before, so you guys hear me? Let's see. Got my chat here on the side. All right, everyone. It's actually been a while since I've streamed. Um, but we're going to take a look at the Wuthering Waves closed beta. Hopefully everything uh, runs smoothly and I'm able to log in and stuff. Uh, let's, let's see. Here we go. Is it live already? Okay. Um, we need a good name for this character. Let's see. We're obviously going to... I don't think there's bee hopping in this game. That's dependent on the uh, gender and the character model. So we're definitely going to go with a waifu character. Okay. We're going to be the legendary potato here. The one toe potato. Okay, so full disclosure, I have not played this game and I've barely seen anything on it. Like I've not been watching the trailers. I've not been doing anything. The only thing I've seen about Wuthering Waves is some clickbait thumbnails you know my youtube recommendations but I, I haven't really watched any of those videos yet and i know it's by the people that made punishing gray raven that's it so i'm going into this basically completely blind never played it never even pretty much watched anything on it so i'm curious now i heard okay so i did hear some of the news about like i heard that the story has gotten like 90 percent rewritten for this and we're gonna see like we're going to see, you know, if the story is any good. I have no idea what the story was like in Closed Beta 1, but I heard it was pretty bad. Um, so we're going to take a look. Maybe Closed Beta 2 is a bit better. But right now we got this. Um, it looks like it's got a more serious tone so far. You know, like the uh, pretty different feeling art style. We, we've got the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, uh, oh man, wh why am I forgetting the name of the, the first girl in Genshin Impact that turns you into a cube yeah we've got her right now but we don't have our twin brother instead we, we're not being turned into a cube either we're just being thrown into a portal i guess is this an isekai can you guys hear me uh, let's see okay so yeah there we go unknown god okay so okami says you can't hear me but can the rest of you guys hear me yeah i think so i think so Someone said Isekai, so I said Isekai. Yeah, cool. Thanks, guys, for letting me know that you can hear me. Okay, so we've been Isekai'd in this world. Let's see. Oh, God, is this going to be a lot of swimming? I hope not. To be fair, Fontaine did swimming right, but... Um, okay. Looks like drowning. Strange. So there's no voice acting, at least for the... I don't know if there's voice acting for combat and stuff, but for the story... I don't think there's voice acting. That's what it said in the email. But it should be dubbed in at least English, Japanese, probably Chinese, and a few other languages, I'm assuming. But yeah. Okay, so subtitles are down here. Uh, emergency skill with junior patrollers, lesson one, CPR. Oh, this reminds me of when Dan Hung goes in for the CPR with your character in Honkai Star Rail. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think they're drawing some inspiration from... Uh, from uh, some of the Hoyoverse games. Let's see. Just woke up. Here I am chatting up a storm. Uh, I guess I guess I'll do the voices since we don't have any voices for uh, in the game. Are you alright? Do you feel any discomfort? I'm sure that's exactly what she sounds like. These guys, Kuro Games, hire me. I'll, I'll voice act all these characters. You can call me Shushia. And yeah, she's Yang Yang. Where am I? I do wonder if the MC is going to be voiced, right? Because, like, oftentimes in these games... Um, okay, do you guys want... Uh, oh, let, let me actually pause a little bit. Do you guys want me to actually, like, kind of go a little slow on the story and, and to pay attention to it? Because usually I don't... Like, even when I play Genshin... When I play pretty much any game, I'm the type of player to just, like, start mashing keys and stuff. So, let me see. What do you guys want from... Um, from me in terms of the story? And... Okay, it says my uh, bit rate's a little low. Let me know if the quality's not so great. Um, but yeah. Okay, so you know what? We're just going to keep going. Skip. All right, we got one skip. Let's see. I don't think you need to send this to beta. Slower. No, skip. 
Skip, you can go a bit slow. Oh man, you guys are split 50 50. Skip, skip. Okay, we got more skip. We got more skip than than not skip. So I'm gonna have to go with uh, the majority here. So we're gonna kind of skip this because ultimately this experience is about you guys experiencing it with me as well, right? So we're gonna let democracy take shape here and go through pretty quick. So it's gonna get dangerous pretty soon. That's kind of like a statement where you know you're in an action combat game. It's pretty assume that we're gonna get it's gonna get dangerous so anyway interesting because you can't really expedite this text or skip it and i'm just skimming it and i have no idea what they're talking about they're talking to each other i guess we're the rover it sounds like a dog you know like have you guys seen those like robot dogs that security dogs that kind of patrol around with cameras yeah it's, it's kind of like one of those like those little rovers you shouldn't stay here if you don't have any other plans how about leaving with us for now okay yeah i mean i was literally just thrown into this world but at least these two locals willing to help okay it looks like we might have some climbing to do uh wonder if we also have to increase our stamina bar i'm, I'm assuming this game is a stamina bar i do like the um more fan servicey costumes already right like this game does seem to be a bit more fan service in comparison to at least the genshin or, well, most. I mean, Genshin's got his fair share. Genshin's fan service is a little more subtle, in my opinion. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is check out some of the physics. Right? I mean, physics are very important. Now, it feels pretty jolty. Uh, camera's very fast. So, maybe I'll have to adjust that. Ooh, we're going to pick mints. Fragrant grass. That, that's code name for mint. So, we're going to pick this mint. Very cool. We got, we got the ability to pick mints. And we got butterflies. Chrysopus. Okay. Cool. All right. So the dash, dash feels pretty, uh, kind of like, um, I don't like the transition from the dashing animation to the running animation, but whoa, she jumps high. She jumps high, but I'm, I'm used to Genshin Impact. So, you know, that's cool. Uh, we just kind of have to get used to like the different standards here. So Lotus heads. Yes, we got these. Now, once you pick them up, you can't really tell that they're gone. I mean, you know, I expect them to really polish up a lot of stuff. Um, when it comes to the- Whoa! You guys see that? You guys see that? Come on. Yeah! We can just run up walls here! <laughs> oh, wow. Is that is that an enemy? Do, do I really have to kill this cute little sentient being here? Okay. Well, oh, wow. I think I dodged it. All right. Left click. Here we go. Oh, we, we have an E as well. Okay, so the E seems to do two slashes in a row. A bunny, a bunny, does drop meat? Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Oh my gosh, it does drop raw meat. The bunnies are worth one raw meat. Now, the little critters, the, the similar size, like little foxes you can kill in Genshin, those are worth two. It's interesting that these ones are only worth one. And I do wonder... Okay, yeah, yeah. So, combat's pretty cool, I guess. We're gonna need to... Do they have charge attacks? This, okay, so that's my stamina bar. Yeah, it does have charge attacks. And it looks like it's got like a roughly four hit string. One, two, three, four. Yep, four hit string and it loops. Wait. Oh, so some sometimes it's different. Yeah, see that that time it did kind of like um, a lunge. And that time it did a circular swipe. It might be based on the spacing, the timing of your left click. So that's interesting. All right, let me uh, check check out what chat's been saying. Looks staggy. Oh man. Okay, any cute characters or just waifu? I guess we'll have to see uh, some other some other characters. Yeah, you can run up walls. I, I don't know. I, I guess we're gonna have to see more walls. Oh, here we have Dan Hung and Baibu Lune. Giant, uh, giant dragon thing are injured from the fight. Where the heck were you? I thought you were just with me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess she wasn't. I mean, she somehow got around us forward to this. I thought we were following them, but I guess not. So we got this big old dragon. We got Dan Hung and Byron Lene after he was sealed. That's cool. How's it feel to play so far? Uh, it feels like a lot of cutscenes that I have not been able to... Th okay, the story has not been interesting so far. But it could be the lack of immersion without the voice acting and stuff. I mean, they're talking about Sentinel. I I'm, I'm assuming they're talking about the statue, right? Like, oh, oh man, I, I just got suckered into asking, a bunch, asking her a bunch of questions when I can move on. All right, so one can hardly see a sentinel. Uh, <clears throat> bunch of big words there. 
You sit pretty close, normally only sentinels. Appointed resonators allowed to its proximity. Then why are you standing right next to it too? Right? Like, is she also an appointed resonator? Okay. She must be. I'm assuming she is. Okay. So, that must be an elite class. Alright. Is, is the giant statue kind of like the goddess statues? Do we get like an element or something? This can't be that close of a clone, can it? Right? Like, it can't be. E. What does E do? He does that. Oh, okay, that's right. Oh, were they going to attack? Or use R. Oh, cool. So it's like it's like an ultimate. Looks like a pretty basic ultimate. I, I'd expect that from, you know, the starting character or traveler, right? Oh, we got we got two characters now. Cool. Very cool. So. Okay, let's see what her skill does. Switch to party members glowing eye to, re to release. Oh, so this is kind of like the QTC combos i think from honkai impact third right so i have to be completely honest now one thing about um punishing gray raven th that i didn't like was basically playing a match three mini game um while you're playing combat right so like i enjoy like kind of looking at the screen looking at the characters fight instead you know punishing gray raven you spent a lot of time literally just staring at kind of the bottom right just trying to do the match three puzzles and stuff so I really appreciate that the combat system uh, has kind of gravitated away from that. And, you know, Punching Grave is still like a really fun game, but look at that. Look at that. Who needs to climb? Who needs to climb? Okay, can we take fall damage? All right, okay. It, 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 it's a little janky, but not too stanky. So, you know, we can accept this. Ooh, eggs. Long press. I, I missed that. I, I missed that. That message seemed important. Oh, God. No fall damage. Look at that. Okay. Can we kill ourselves here? All right. Uh, I'm stuck. Hang on, guys. We got this. We got this. We can conquer the... We can conquer the ladder. We did it. Okay, okay. So how far can you really climb in things like this? Oh, God! This is hard. This is harder than it looks. All right. What? Oh, man. You know what? This game is already too hard. I... I... I, I can't... This game's too hard. Walls are too difficult. We're, we're moving on. Otherwise, I'm just going to be, like, uh, trying to climb walls the whole time. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Long press F to put to pick up. Nice. So C, okay. It uh, just does as expected. You can open up weapons. Take a look at the character stuff. Let's see. It is a bit janky. Um, Tower of Fantasy was pretty janky. <laughs> so let's see. All right. Check out this upgrade. We got 0.7% and two attack. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy upgrade, guys. You love to see some giant upgrades in your character gear. Now, looks like she also uses the exact same uh, set of swords, so they're both sword users. And here, okay, so we have our character skills, basic attack. This must be their E. This must be. Is this the ultimate? <clears throat> Or is this the ultimate? Or is this... Use the sword. Okay, so I don't know what each of these different ones do. Or are yet, right? I mean, basic attack is pretty obvious. Okay, so what are these icons? This must be their idol or constellation slash eidolons. Looks like six. Just like Genshin Impact. Okay. I'm going to give what I kind of consider a hot take. Um, when it comes to endgame and gacha games... I just don't think there's, like, it's just so hard to make any gacha game actually competitive. Unless, like, you know, you have, like, a normalized PvP, stuff like that. But when it comes to out anything outside of perhaps, like, a normalized PvP mode, competitive stuff in gacha games just seems so silly to me. Because, look, I'm going to spend, like, what, $1,000, $2,000 and have all this crazy crap, right? Like, whatever this, I mean, I th I'm assuming you get all of hers for free, right, the starting character. Uh, so we're going to have to see, like, what the competitive elements of this game are if the PvP is normalized. I bet some of you guys know better than I do, right? But for other things, like if there's, like, PvE metrics and stuff, that... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see how bad the backtracking is, like, if it's really... Oh, she's climbing now. She's climbing. Look at that. We can climb. Okay, does the camera auto-blur? I have to find out. Oh my gosh, it does. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, you can switch while climbing. You can switch while climbing. Look at that. 
This is 2024 technology, guys. You can switch while climbing. Awesome. Okay, so you can hop up. And sometimes you can just run up walls and... Okay, we're stuck. Uh, come on. You can do this. You can do this! Oh, God. Ah! That. That. Okay. All right. All right. I got I, I to gotta be real, guys. No cap. We, they got some work to do on the climbing and stuff. I mean, sometimes you're running up the wall like freaking Spider-Man or something. I should have read that. What did that say? Just okay, press F. Uh, straightforward enough. If... If I can't figure out what to do after pushing F, then, you know, that's kind of a problem with... Ooh! We got our iron ores here. Cool. We don't even need claymores to break them, either. Um, ooh, fish! Wow. Alright, so we got the fish in the water. Oh my goodness, okay, so bee hopping, not good. Not good to bee hop. Uh, looks like it slows you down, and it looks a little jarring. Like, you know, it kind of just, like, bounces up immediately and kind of jolts right back down. Right? Um, needs a bit of work on the physics there. Uh, coloring's okay. Um, looks interesting. It, it looks purely like terrain, right? Um, so not, like, you don't see too many distinct things here. It's just like trees, some mountains. You see kind of one little tower here that's interesting like that. I kind of want to go towards it. But everything else looks pretty static and similar, right? So that's one thing um, that I feel like, you know, it'd be nice to, like, feel like, oh, I see that really awesome thing over there. I want to go look at it, right? But looking at it the way I did, there wasn't really anything that stood out to me. Do we have weather? Day-night cycles is the center of the etheric sea. Okay, it's rumbling. Oh, all right, all right. I, I thought like, you know, I live in California, so I wasn't sure if I was about to die or if it was in this game, right? Because of all the earthquakes here. <laughs> wasn't here when he just got here. Let's see, I, I, did I sense it? All right. Have any of you guys been paying attention to the story? If someone can like summarize it for me. Um, oh, geez. Yeah. I have some issues with the bitrate. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Let me let me see what's going on with it. Can I get higher quality here? Huh? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Uh, what does this do? Stream's current bitrate, stream status good. All right. Uh, yeah, sorry if the quality's a little low, guys. Um, yeah, I have... The internet's pretty good, but I wonder why this the stream setting's uh, not so good. Now it says good setting. I don't know. Let me know if... Uh, let me know how the settings are. Okay, is that... What? Wait, was there someone down there? I just saw... I just saw an X in the ground. Too far apart. Okay, so we've been bom wait. Okay, we've been bombarded by a bunch of waifus. Um, I do wonder if there's husbandos in this game. I do think it's good to have both, right? Like it's it's good to have both, because you know a lot of people um do like playing with their husband. You know myself included. I I, I do like a good husbando. Okay, so let's see. Uh, now it's time to use glider module rover. Let me help you activate it. Okay, do I just? I just jump off. Press space. Hey! Check that out. We got our glider. Uh, is that like a demon or is it like... It kind of look like a demon thing. Man, this girl just like so casually busted out like it was nothing. You know? Why'd you come here? A, a dormant tacit field. Okay. Alright. I'm sorry guys. I have not been paying attention to the story. Okay. She's ignoring us. Uh, something's going on. Oh, I guess we're special. You want to see us? Kind of looks like Shen He, like the outfit, in my opinion. Could be totally wrong. I, I do like the design of the MC. Um, chirp, chirp. Okay. All right, so this is one of those cutscenes, I guess, where we obviously cannot skip or do anything about. Oh, is is that like a is is that like a Pal World thing, like a Pokemon, basically? I wonder if this game will add like, you know, like it's such a, it's been such a trend lately, Pal World. So maybe they'll add like uh, catchable creatures that you can murder and also um, <laughs> do a lot of crazy things to. That'd be funny. So let's see. <clears throat> no game sound. There is game sound. I guess it's just pretty quiet. Uh, let me turn it up for you guys, actually. The game sounds a little low. 
I'm gonna turn it up. Okay, can you hear it? Can you hear the game sound? Yeah. <laughs> you commit war crimes in Pal World. Okay, yeah, this cutscene's over. So... This place... It's not a place for talking? Girl, what we've been doing the whole time? We've been talking. Alright. So we got some spikes out of the ground. We got lucky. None of us got impaled. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Alright. They're all tripping. I'm assuming I'm immune to it for some reason. Yep. We got the MC plot armor. And that guy's a little too close for comfort. Alright. So we got... We definitely got some powers up in here. Let's let's see what we can do. Okay, so it's a cool dude with some white dragonish armor. You know, it's like I literally just like left my crib here. Left shift. Okay, yeah. What? Hap left. Oh, okay. So the middle mouse the middle mouse thing, I guess it locks the camera. Okay. We'll just use her ultimate, do her thing, mash E, use their skills, use her ultimate. Sure, why not? Switch over, use skill. Oh, what the heck? Okay, he, he did not like that. Ouch. Very telegraph. Okay, okay. So, looks like... Wait, where, where, where'd I go? Wait, what, what just happened? What just happened? Okay. So, it looks like you can launch. It's like there's a little bit of juggling. Not sure if I mistimed the dodge. Okay. All right, looks like we got to pay attention already. Oops. Oh, okay. So it looks like you're going to have to dodge multiple things in a row. So this is one of those games where you're heavily rewarded for doing the same fight over and over and over until you get like the dodging mechanics into muscle memory. Wait, what was that? <laughs> what just happened? I, I couldn't even tell. Did I counterattack or did I dodge counter? I, I, I'm not even sure. Okay, anyway. So, I do wonder if the ultimates have generous iframes or not. Okay, we'll just spam dodge. Looks like we can kind of get away with that. Okay, so we have a limited number of dodges. F, what does F do? Okay, so I'm assuming, I guess if the boss is in some kind of like immobilized state, you can press, oh, there's a toughness bar. Yeah, there's a toughness bar right there. That's what that is. Uh, okay, is it a second bar? Is that a second bar? Did I break the tough? Well, I thought it ran out of health and then there's another bar under that. So does it have like, do you have to do like enough damage or something after you knock it down or else it'll revive or something? Okay, I have no idea. Combat's very flashy, fast-paced. It looks like definitely reminiscent of Honkai Impact 3rd slash um, Zenless Zone Zero, right? Much more so than like Genshin Impact. Now, my one criticism of the combat so far is I feel like the MC and this uh, blue-haired girl, I think Yang Yang is her name, they feel almost identical. Like they both have, if I'm not looking very, very precisely at their attacks, they look like they're doing the exact same thing, right? So I feel like the two of them are extremely similar. I'm hoping to see like, you know, bigger variety in terms of like the play style, which I'm sure, I'm sure that I'm sure they'll do, right? I'm, I'm sure they'll do. So this is an echo. Are the echoes like the bad guys of the elite class? Okay. I mean, you know, level one, we beaten up elite class mobs. Cool. Yep. It must come naturally to us. Very nice. Guys, I'm I'm mashing left click. I'm mashing left click. They nerf Crowless Edge. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what that is. Very similar because of the starter characters. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, no, like some lasers and stuff would be awesome, you know, different types of weapons, big claymores, spears, who knows? But they'll probably add it, right? Um Yeah, I think our fantasy actually did that, right? Like they had a good amount of variety when it came to a playstyle. I remember correctly. I, you know, I got to be honest. I, I barely remember that game. <laughs> I barely remember the game. Um, so here we go. Okay. All right. The story. 
the story. Let, let's talk about the story. Does anyone know what's going on? Does anyone know what's going on? <laughs> I can't even tell what's going on. Uh, there, there's this hole in the ground. And it seems to be a problem. Let's go. Let's go talk about this hole in the ground. Alright, MCs. Oh, I like that close up there. It's a. They got their camera angles, they know what they're doing. No, oh, okay, okay. Are we purifying it? Oh! We caught it! We caught it! It's like a Pokemon, right? Or do we just get its abilities? Or did we catch it? Oh man, if they mix in Pokemon, then they have a good chance. They have a good chance of this game uh, <laughs> uh, being pretty good. I mean, that's that's like one of the main things Pokemon was missing. Was just, it was, it was pretty restrictive, right? You know, you can only just like do this with these and do like these four, four moves. And just battle very linearly. Extremely structured, but let's see how they handle catching these bosses. Because um, it seems like we just kind of caught it, right? Goal, goal puffs? Uh, uh, wait, what are they talking about? Are they talking about food now? Okay, so I guess they're concerned with us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I don't, I don't need to check up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Celestial being descended, commanding the Ken Quinn's boundless power, assuming mortal form, they condense the primordial essence, creating pan goo. Leaving heaven and earth apart. Cool. Okay. I'm trying to select the ones that give us the least dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if the story seems much better. So for those of you that went through closed beta 1, you can let me know if this is 90% different. Or if it's about the same. But roughly, I think we're talking about Pangoos and we're catching Pokemon. That seems to be the gist of it. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Good story. Good story. Holographic man. It seems very serious. Right? It seems very serious. The music too, so far it's been pretty um, serious. Yeah, the whole game just felt very serious. Yeah, very serious so far. We have a hologram, so I'm assuming it's futuristic, right? We're in like a futuristic fantasy setting. Cool. Yeah, those are honestly some of my favorite settings for games like um, the Fantasy Star series and stuff like that. Those are very cool. Yeah. There's a skip button? Where? Where? Where's the skip button? Give me the skip button. No. No skip button. Now this is an autoplay. This is an autoplay button. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's a good point by Ray. One thing is like the characters all kind of look very, very similar, right? They all have kind of like the um, uh, the tall girl model, very similar skeletons in the closet. No skip button. All right, so they didn't uh, learn from uh, Genshin Impact there to incorporate a skip button. <clears throat> Instead, we're going through these... Um, story part let's see so she has a scar here that looked really similar to the hand mark that we just got after capturing the boss All right because we got that right there on our mc character oh she has one on her forehead okay so i guess we just have them in different spots so maybe she has one somewhere too um yeah so the scars must must be an indicator of like uh, these Special characters with powers. There's a lot of clipping there in her jacket that went kind of went through her body. Um, but you know, clipping's unavoidable in most games. Okay, this is going on a really long time. I mean, you know, it's cool to talk about plans. Uh, maybe we can, I don't know, go eat dinner at this race. Uh, maybe we'll make my bed, we'll do some dishes. It's... Yeah, I, I'm mashing left click, guys. I got I got my mouse Chuck here. He working hard, but this is this is as fast as it goes, guys. As fast as it goes. See those three dots? That means that means you gotta read it. You gotta read it. I don't think you're 
Dialogue choices matter. There we go. We can play the game again. Yeah. All right. We leveled up. Leveled up. Okay. So we can do... Is, if there's an incline, it looks like we can just glide down. But you go pretty slow in the air. So you're definitely incentivized to run on the ground. All right. I see big mountain. I try climb big mountain. Let's go. What? What, what just happened? Okay. Fragile purple. What? I whiffed? <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so sometimes she climbs, sometimes she just YOLOs up the wall. Look at that. I wonder, does it have to do with if you start dashing beforehand or not? Oh, look at her hair. That's a cool little, um, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a cool feature there. I was kind of like glowing feathers, essentially. That's very nice. I do, I do appreciate that. I also appreciate how the game is letting me kind of dick off and just go do whatever, right? It's not restricting me, which is pretty cool. So we have an aerial plunge attack. Very expected. Let's go and plunge on these things. Here we go. These cute little critters. They're less cute, though, to be honest. They kind of look like little demons or something. I'm assuming that's a treasure chest, right? All right, a treasure chest. Okay, this has already taken a while to kill these things. Um, which I find kind of surprised. Oh, it attacked. Okay. So they have pretty sparse attacks, as expected from little minions. All right, we did it. We won our first open world fight, and we got LF Whispering Core's new Echo Whiff Waff. Oh, so I think we caught it as like a Pokemon. All right. Tidal Heritage? Wait, well, I, I just opened it. Oh, Okay. I don't understand. I think I have to touch the chest twice to get the stuff. Okay. That's fine. Interesting choice. So here we go. Okay, yeah. That, that... <laughs> just, just mash left click. No need to do a charge attack against, against rocks. So let's do some more exploration here. Whoa, what the heck? Dang, that was like, that was like super sudden. She, she, she doing some auto parkour here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that auto parkour. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny looking. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. No? No, not that time? Okay, whatever. So, can we kill the birds? Let's go, let's go. Kill the bird! Kill the bird! Kill the bird! Nope. Too slow. Wait. Oh, but it farted. And left some crane feathers. Very nice. Okay, so how does swimming work in this game? Alright, can you drown? Yeah, let's see what happens if we run out of stamina. Here we go. <laughs> Oh boy. Am I gonna regret this? Oh! No, 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 We have to die. We have to die. Come on. Come on. What happens when we die? It doesn't censor here. The swimming looks kind of funny because you're swimming on a slope. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Rip. Wow. That's actually not punishing at all. We just lost like... You know, 10% of our health. We just got teleported to the ground. And finally, we didn't even lose our ultimates there. Look at that. But yeah, the swimming looks pretty funny when you swim down. Here, let me show you guys again. That's pretty funny. And right now, like, this chick don't need to breathe, guys. She just freestyling Olympic breather or Olympic swimmer here. Okay, okay. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I want to swim, guys. <laughs> We're just gliding over it. Let's go. <laughs> alright, alright. That's pretty funny. So, okay. So we got... We got little uh, puffer fishes here. Uh, we finally get revenge on the stupid puffer fishes. I hate those things. That's right. No mercy for these things. Yeah, all puffer fish deserve to die or be turned into um, turned into free to play friendly pole arms. That's what they get. Being the worst things ever to catch. Okay. Golf gold, gold puff relay pass champions. Gold Puff. Huh. Is that the Pokemon battles? I wonder. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to go over there. <laughs> I forgot we were actually trying to do a mission here. All right. Ooh, shiny stuff. Let's go get the shiny stuff first. Ooh, another shiny thing. Let's see. Oh, we got sleeping turtles. Oh, man. I feel bad killing them, but... Hey. Wait, these are not turtles. These are definitely not turtles. No, they are spiky rocks. Okay, so 
first I was hoping for like more cute critters, but instead we're just fighting like rocks and weird gremlin things. You know. And then we got the geodudes here. But yeah, when you add a face to things, it just makes them cuter generally. So these things don't have faces, so I don't really feel bad killing them. What the heck? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's how we catch them. That's how we get them as echoes. The glacial prism, cool. All right, what was that? A carrot? Water lamp. Okay, we open it, then we tap it again to collect it. Got to double tap that. How do I heal? Do I even? Wait, wait a sec. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to go to that shiny thing. Defeat zigzag. Oh, look at the butterflies. Okay, okay, let's follow the butterflies. I, I will say, like, there's some janking stuff in the exploration, but I'm enjoying it. You know, like, um, I'm, I'm enjoying this first time experience, just killing some things that I thought were turtles, uh, but aren't. The critters aren't as cute as I like, but hey, you know, I, I don't think this game is going for, uh, going to be too cute. Grapple shooter. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Am I supposed to, what was that? Was I supposed to do something with that, or, or what? Where did the butterflies go? Oh man, these things are taking me... So these these are like the Sealies. We got the Union level, which is Adventure Rank. Training Pistols, when did I get that? Okay, we got frogs. Maybe we can make some potions. Oh man, okay. Alright, alright, let's stop getting sidetracked. There, there is a lot of stuff to do, which is which is cool. That, that I do enjoy. And we're going to parkour here. Come on, parkour. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty satisfying. Let's see. Got the mushrooms. The, ju the jumping doesn't feel good because you lose momentum when you jump. If you kept your horizontal momentum, you know, it would feel much better. I, I will say. Okay, let's, let's catch these things too. I think we're going to try to catch them all. You know, we're here to play Pokemon, not Honkai Impact 4. So it's pretty cool. You can see the other character linger a bit. That's also a uh, Zenless Zone Zero does that, which um, I do like how the other character can linger on the field for a bit, and you can probably have you know their effects slash attacks abilities um, last a bit longer too. So, okay. Let me hang on. Actually, I'm gonna check one thing real quick in my streaming settings. Um, maybe there's. Oh wait. Okay, we're we're gonna deal with this um a scene. I guess while while it makes us do that. Am I able to change the bitrate here? Video bitrate? Can I, can I increase this? Um, recording saving. Sorry guys, hopefully this doesn't break the stream. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool, we're done with that cutscene. Let me see. Okay, I, I'm increasing the video bitrate. I'm gonna see if I can increase it. I'm gonna try doubling it real quick. Um, hopefully that helps a bit. I'll put okay all right so we got the new echo zigzag let me check in with you guys um echo app c to equip echo all right what is this equip echoes okay these look like artifacts right summon a detonation yeah we got the two-piece set effect five-piece set effect oh no I, I don't like seeing that i don't like seeing a five-piece set effect Summon a detonation to cause spectral damage and create a stagnation area. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so let's see. So we can equip some bugs and stuff. So if we equip it on this character, can the other character equip it too? No. Okay, so each character can equip one of them. And... Interesting. Okay, so... We equip our Pokemons. That's super interesting. Is it based on element? Oh, okay. So maybe it's the element that you equip five of the element. Oh, but see, yeah, they, they each have their own stats here. So this definitely looks like an artifact system. But we're just going to have to see how that plays out as we, um, as we get further along. So defeat the TD around... Oh, I have no, I have no idea if the um, uh, the video quality improved. Hopefully it did. Wait, did I just dodge that thing? I wasn't even looking at my screen. Okay. Absorb, echo, and test, tap, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yep. We're just... That's what we've been doing. We've been absorbing them, right? Okay. 
Oh, these things are so cute. Let's see. Well, yeah, we already fought these things. We already fought these things. I feel bad killing them. But you know what? Mercy. What's that saying? Something like mercy is not forgiveness. Is that is that Kafka? Kafka's ability? Okay. We got the gem berry. We got this. Alright, hopefully um, doubling the video bitrate. Yeah, sorry guys, this is the first time on this PC, so my stream is very bare bones. Um, because I, ju I just set this up like five minutes before I'm starting this game. These things are a bit more durable. Wait, what does Q do? Oh! Yes, we can summon the Pokemons! We can summon the Pokemons, okay. Okay. This is making me like the game a lot more. So each of these, those critters... Seems to allow us... Okay, so they're basically an extra ability. That's what it is, right? It ends up just being an extra ability. But the fact that any character can equip them means that there's going to be a lot of variation with that. So that is a really cool system and mechanic. Um, that must be a waypoint, like a teleport waypoint. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are teleport waypoints. Those are teleport waypoints. That's what that is. Very cool. Oh, okay, so that... That is exciting. Being able to equip all the monsters you kill. And what's really cool about that is that everyone will always have, like, access to it. Assuming the enemies aren't too... so difficult to kill. But I don't know about, like, you know, farming ones with good stats or whatever. How much that ends up mattering. But the Pokemon battle is cool. Yeah, summoning the Pokemon. Wait, what am I doing? No. Yeah, there we go. Look. I got my little, uh... Uh... I don't even know what to call it. Like, it's kind of like it's kind of like a sea urchin, a rock urchin. I, I bet they actually have names. What? What the heck, guys? It it's a freaking tentacle monster. You know, th these developers are developers. They're uh, developers of culture. What can we say? All right. How do I heal? I've been taking damage. So it looks like you can do a lot of, like, really um, cool chain attacks and combos like that, right? Like, I, I just mash and stuff, and you saw all those crazy abilities pop out all at once. So there's going to be a lot of really cool combinations in combat, right? Where you combine the Pokemons with the follow-up attacks, with the ultimates, and you can have, like, characters linger on the field, too, after you swap them. I'm assuming they'll finish their, ab their current ability. So there's going to be some crazy combinations. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. There's some jank and stank, but you know what? It's worth it, right? Like, games can be a little janky, but the most important thing is, is that they're fun. And right now, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Gotta be real. So let's see. Oh, we got our treasure bandits. You know, I like to think that we don't murder these guys in cold blood, but we probably do. We probably do. I choose you. Yeah, that's definitely a reference to Pokemon. So I do wonder if switching has like a counter mechanic, right? Because like in um, in Zenless Zone Zero, switching, if you switch at the right time, you'll counter the enemy like right there. So one thing though that I will say is I feel like um, what combat could end up being is pretty much just quick swapping through characters and doing their skills plus monster ability like as fast as possible and just cycling through all of them really fast. So kind of like setting up your buffs and stuff in Genshin Impact. Oh, only one hit. That thing looks like it, it, it could take a few hits, but I guess it's just like, you know what? Just end my misery. Deal 12 damage to me and I'm out. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, poor critters. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, so yeah, we're supposed to climb here. What was that? What was that? Was I supposed to pick something up? Okay. Sonin's casket can be exchanged for resources by hand. Okay, whatever. City! Hey, it's a city, guys. Oh, look at that. Is it like kind of some weather control or something over there? Interesting. Wouldn't gliding be faster? No. No, gliding is very slow in this game. Oh, wow. Okay, teleported me pretty far. Here we go. Here we go. One nice thing about the cutscenes in this game, it gives me a chance to look at what you guys are saying. Heal with your sake bottle. Oh, so this game, you drink alcohol to heal. 
Is the FPS still capped at 60? I, I have no idea what the FPS is, unfortunately. There might be banners for the pets. Oh, God. That would be unfortunate, you know? I I think, like, the pets and stuff, that, that's the thing that gets, like, casual people to really enjoy the game. And if you lock that stuff behind paywalls, that's not good. That's not good, right? You gotta, you gotta let the, you gotta let the people catch their Pokemons, you know? We're already gonna pay for the waifus and likely their weapons. Let's see. Got it. Yeah, I am a monster. I murder little critters in the wild. So Genshin Ancient Star take 10, 20 minutes for dailies. Very true. <clears throat> the UI is too many square boxes. Every text inside a box. Yep, that's the design they went with. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Nope. <laughs> you think the MC will be just be useful? Right now, I have absolutely no idea. When it comes to the combat, the balance in this game, you know, I'd have to really get into theory crafting and stuff to figure it out. But as for right now, okay, so we got another four star. You can hear her English voice acting. Oh my gosh, look at the overlay of the text. Yeah, they, they got some work. They got some fine polish to work on. And I think the momentum with jumping, I'd love to see changed. And the running up walls, it's it's a little goofy, but I guess I'm not going to complain. Oh, okay, sweet. We are rewarded for um, climbing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. All damage experimentation. How do the physics in this game work? I, I think... I think... Um, the leader of the group should test this, right? The MC and her eyes are kind of spasming there. Yeah, uh, the, the shaders there are going crazy. Look at that. It's like a rave up in her eyes. She got a party going on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whew. Wait, what? Don't do that. Okay, yeah. Oh, she took a little damage. So the fall damage in this game is very generous so far. Our goal by the end of the stream is to find a cliff high enough to die from. If you can. If you can, maybe that's... Oh, look at that. That looks juicy, guys. We got to get up there. And we're going to jump. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens from up there. We'll, we'll get there. I'm, I'm going to try my best tonight to get there. Let's see. Oh, we got a new character. Let's check her out, too. Yeah, so... Here's the girl that's been with us in the cutscenes. We've got our goals in this game. We've got our priorities straight. We must die from fall damage. That is one... That is one goal... Um, we will... I don't have any other goals, actually. Maybe catch a few more Pokemon. Wait, what? Okay. So, looks like... Got a lot of stuff to explore. Get some gems, some e EXP. Uh, it's a bunch of crap. Random resources. That... You know what? Let, let's go grab the waypoint. Okay, we're, we're gonna stick with the story for now. And hopefully, if the story doesn't push us towards that giant mountain for us to... Um, test the laws of physics, then uh, we'll go there eventually. I promise. We got a little fruit stand. Now, I will say um, one thing that I think Honkai Star Rail really improved on in comparison to Genshin Impact is how lively the areas feel. But I think it also helps that it's very instance based, right? But because this is open world, it's a lot harder to load just like a bunch of NPCs. But see, no one's walking around and stuff, which I would love to see. Like, kind of the hustle-bustle. You have the vehicles in Honkai Star Road going on in the background. That really adds, like, a lot of um, sense of immersion, in my opinion. But here we just feel like, you know, the NPCs are really NPC-like, right? They're just literally standing here. Hustle-bustle in a city, everyone's moving around, right? Like, no one's just standing there. Unless you're waiting at a stoplight, trying to cross street or something, right? Making a phone call, waiting for someone, but that's about it, right? Injured or fallen? Oh, okay, so I guess we go here... At the Resonance Nexus to recover. Interesting. So, healing sources don't seem to be as frequent. Uh, or I guess this is like the goddess statue. Yeah, okay. So, it's very similar to Genshin Impact. We got the goddess statue that you go and heal at. Also doubles as a teleport waypoint. Very cool. So there's a lot of parallels here. There's a lot of parallels here. Um, but it's to be expected. Hey, you know, when someone else has already spent the millions, potentially even billions of dollars figuring out what works, why would you not just, you know, take it? Not 
fully copy it, but draw inspiration from and kind of uh, iterate on it, right? Like that that's how you get games to be better and stuff. That's how you improve things. And hopefully uh, they do this right. Yeah, jumping just feels bad. I, I really hope I really hope they change the momentum with it. So that way, like, you know, it, it's just fun to jump around, right? Like, I just want to jump around and, you know, it just looks fun and feels fun. Or maybe that's just because I've been playing too much Genshin Impact. That's just one small gripe I have with this game. Um, all right, let's keep going. Die! Oh man, where's Timmy? Well, I guess Timmy's not around. Uh, I I feel I don't feel as bad not killing the birds now because Timmy's not around. But let's go. I'm going up. Okay. All right. So let's see. Got this character. Can we can we climb? No, we can't run or climb in here. That's interesting. Now we can. Whoa, whoa! I think she said that. I think she said can't jump. So yeah, here we go. All right, so we got this character. Oh, wait, she's in our party. Hehe. <laughs> I, I just like doing this, even though it's just pointless. I, I just like making them. Um, I can't zoom in. That's really interesting. Oh, yeah, I was right next to her, so I couldn't zoom in. All right, so the character's eyes are freaking out, which is <laughs> super interesting to me. Are her eyes freaking out too, or is it just, it's just my character? Let's see. It's just my character. Huh. Okay, well, all right. Well, double the waifus and complain. Uh, so many non-staff personnel here, man. This is these are like conversations at my office, you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, we've ticked these boxes uh, uh, here. Have you have you finished these uh, Jira tickets yet? Oh, yeah. Why don't you make that uh, push to GitHub today? Oh, man, what's what's the land of that meeting over there? You know, that meeting at 11. Yeah, that was an exciting meeting. Wow. Love it. Yep. All right. <laughs> not sure how I feel about the story, but I have not felt the desire to read any of it. Let me, let me just put it that way. <laughs> it's just uh, the story has been in one eye and out the other for me. But, okay. So we got this area. Oh, yes, we can be rude. We can be extremely rude to people. Do they freak out when we try to slash them to pieces? No, and they're immune too. So I guess we can't just randomly kill people. That's good. This ain't GTA, you know. The NPCs got some plot armor there. They are quite impervious. So we got our informant right here. Oh my goodness, we just... Discharging firearms and... What is this, America? You know, we can just unleash your firearms in public like this. All right. Let's go. Okay. I, I'm not walking like this. Y you guys know me. I, I ain't I ain't moving this slow. But this game making... This isn't even like cinematic or anything. A and then I hop up onto the table too after all that super long. That's just goofy. Why am I walking so slow there? Like that wasn't an important scene or anything. I, I'm just following this NPC 10 steps to the chair and I gotta walk like that. Bro, no, you got to use scenes like that when it's impactful, right? They got to there's got to be an info dump with crazy shit going on in the background. You know, like me walking to a table to get some tea. No, don't do that. Not not that time. Come on. Come on. Y'all need to learn some storytelling. I, I don't even know anything about storytelling. So, I, I, you know, who am I to talk? Honestly, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so her scar thing looks like it's in her eyeball. Oh, God. We've been Monge Kyo Sharingan. Holy cow. Infinite Tsukiyomi. We got we got our Sasuke right here. Oh man, so looks like people are gonna have some eye powers in this game in this game. That's cool. All day for the delay. Call me Rover. Yeah, I'm a freaking dog. Dog named Rover. Okay, it Rover is a dog's name, right? Rover is a dog's name. That's true. Have we seen a single husbando? Yeah, another waifu. Another waifu. Yeah, this is definitely waifu impact, guys. Um, I gotta admit, I do need a, a husbando or two. You know, like when Jing Yuan appeared, delicious, right? Uh, characters like that, you know, you love to see him. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Guys, what is going on in the story? My description is not... Every time I, like, I choose to read it, I'm not getting any information. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. Really? How else would I appear other than the way I am? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. What's the point? What's the point of that line? They all look different. I don't know what you're referring to, but you know what? That's okay. I, I totally missed it. I, I, you know what? It was probably it was probably important information that I just missed because I'm not paying attention to it. My terminal. Yeah, here. Have my number so I can get out of here. So I can go climb that mountain and jump off it. That's all I want to do, guys. I am fixated on this goal and you are prohibiting me from accomplishing this right now with whatever we're talking about. Hey, free stuff. Cool. I'll take the free stuff. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. 90 meters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. So was that like a big important meeting or something? Like... Oh, man. With that type of like build up, the slow walk and everything seemed like important information, but I was not getting any of it. So I do feel like, you know, the outfits are pretty similar, even though they're like different colors and stuff. They all have, you know, roughly the same cut and stuff, exposed shoulders, um, things like that. Low cut skirts, although I think she has shorts. She, she has shorts. Yeah. So they don't shy away from showing thighs, shoulders, shoulder blades. That's, that's nice. Um, but you know, it, it's good to have variety, right? It's good to have variety. That's how I feel about it. I do not do nothing. Sure. Yep. 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 Oh, one thing I think I do like about the story mode, all the dialogue choices seem to be just in one spot. So you can just move the mouse there and just start clicking away. Whereas Genshin Impact sometimes, like depending on the size of the bottom box, it'll push the dialogue a little higher. And if you're not paying attention, you ain't progressing through the story. Well, okay. I got to talk to this kid. Optional inquire the kids. Yeah, let's do let's do an optional thing here. All right, we got a little kid here. Blah blah blah. After a tense moment of silence, you see, I don't have candy. Wait, what? We try we we stealing candy from kids now? <laughs> All right, cool. I, I guess we're that type of people. That's what this game is now about. We stealing candy from kids. <laughs> New functions unlock utilities. Who utilities? P to grapple. What? Or what the hell just happened? Hey! Ow! That hurt! <laughs> okay, I completely missed what I was supposed to do. Just mash T there? Okay, anyway. They should have um, had a little freeze frame there. <laughs> okay, I think that answers our question if we can die from fall damage because I almost died there. Oh man, now I'm taking the slow route. Wait, what? Okay, are there like specific grapple points? Yeah, yeah, I think there's specific grapple points. They are... Um... A little questionable because... How the heck were you supposed to see that? I was just waving my camera around like this, pressing, pressing T, and then she just locked onto that thing. Alright. What the... Oh wait, so it, 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 it's kind of like a double hop in the air too. Okay, I think you can use it as a double hop in the air, as well as to use it to connect to these points, like these things here. Alright, got it. I think. Alright, blah blah blah. Wait, who am I talking to? Whatever. <laughs> I was talking to the roof of the building. <laughs> uh, hey, we got our first bro here! What's up? What's up, guys? All right. Oh, looks like, uh, yeah, we got our, um, got some pretty cool hair, but he looks like he's got some stuff on his chest. This is more Teffy. What? Who? Who's more Teffy? Is it the guy I just talked to? Oh, it's you again. Uh, you, we saw you at the beginning of the game. That's right. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, nice. I can also just smash the F key. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so... 
we, we move two steps to talk to this person and progress the story. I like how we can just mash F too. So we have doubled the mashing capabilities with F and the left click. And what's nice about F, it seems to just select a random choice or the first choice or whatever. Press the button. Press what button? What button am I pressing here? I guess I got a button. For short signals, the button. Which button? What button? You better tell me what button this is because I don't know what button you're talking about. Face. Receive by clicking the button. Is that? Oh. Alright, guys. I, I, okay, this, this is not what I signed up for. How often do we have to do this? <laughs> this better not be, like, a core part of the gameplay. This shit is worse than TVs, man. And I hate TVs. Am I, like, measuring a pulse? What? <laughs> what was that? Why is that even in this game? <laughs> It wasn't even music or anything. It's not even like a rhythm game. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't care. This is, this is like the the first... This is like that Devalin fight where you just got to get past it once and you never see that shit again. Right? Because like... And, and then you never see that shit again. Okay. All right. Oh, hey. We got our first summon. Come on. Five star. Here we go. Here we go. We wishing. Oh, oh my God. That's so bright. I... It's gonna... Okay, I think everyone gets her, I'm assuming. Very nice. I do like the summoning animations. I will say that that blinding light uh, makes it a little hard to play when you're laying in bed uh, next to someone else and you're trying. they're trying to sleep, but you decide that you're gonna play this much to the, their dismay. So, teams... Oh! So we can only have three characters in our team, huh? I haven't even used that girl yet. Okay, we we added her because I haven't even used her yet. There we go. All right. Uh, what next? We talk to this dude. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. Here's your sundial. Thank you for my sundial. I've always wanted one of those. I, I can't even like see it. Like show me what 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 is the sundial? You just handed me like error. Maybe if I could see the contraption it'd be a little more interesting, but his expression softened. Okay. An amiable person. Absolutely. I am so enthralled by this dialogue. Okay. Minigame dialogue. I don't really feel great about it, but you know what? This is this is kind of like a hazing ritual. Like, you know, you're trying to join a fraternity and they start putting you through some shit, right? And if you want to get to the good stuff, like the parties, the booze, the stuff like that, you got to get past this. That's what we're going through, guys. We're getting hazed. We're going through this part. What is this? Yeah, hazing. We, we got to touch garbage cans. No, it's a recycling bin. Wait. Is dangerous? This recycling bin's dangerous? <laughs> okay. Hopefully we have some recycling bin lore in this game. Like garbage can lore. Alright, we're touching a bunch of nonsense here. Yep, cool, cool. Take a critical hit. Wait, am I taking damage? That'd be funny if I'm taking damage. <laughs> oh wait, I think I already touched what I needed to touch. And I'd be parkouring off those chairs. <laughs> Just the random office chairs. I love it. How do you think it compares to Tower Fantasy? I like it more in Tower Fantasy. I'll absolutely say that. Like, um, there's some jank and stank, but it feels, it still feels pretty fun. Like, I want to go out there, catch some Pokemon, kill some things right now. Um, let's see. Skip button, upper left, upper left. Wait, where, where is it? I don't see it, guys. You keep telling me there's a skip button. I don't see it. Oh man, where is the skip button? It's autoplay. Yeah, no, 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 this upper right button. That's an autoplay button. I'm clicking everywhere. Here, I'll press some different keys too. We got F. I was just mashing the keyboard here. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's see, yeah, no. Hold F. 
Wait, can I hold F so I can at least pay even less attention? No. I gotta mash it. I gotta mash it. Are there any hot males in this game? And this, uh... Since this person spelled it as M-A-I-L, um, Hotmail is a pretty dead email service. And I think my mom still uses... <laughs> my mom still uses Hotmail.com. So that should tell you uh, how out of date it is. It's on the side quest. Oh, okay. So there's a skip button on the side quest. Let's see. <laughs> we love Hotmail boxes. That's right, guys. Oh, there's a sundial. That's what we were talking about, but you didn't show me until now. Yeah, see, now I'm fractionally more interested in this uh, contraption. Thank you for showing it to me. Waifus are hot. That they are. The character, the waifus are hot. They are. That's a lot of dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> and this dialogue, they talking about databases, archiving. Bro, this is just like my freaking job. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about managing some databases, you know, like dealing with LLM models for AI. I mean, what is this? I, I not, I did not play this game to be back at the office, guys. That, that's not what I'm here for. We ain't here for those, those work meetings, you know? <laughs> okay. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, we, we got, oh my goodness, guys, these... This info dump is crazy. You gotta break up info dumps. You gotta break up info dumps like this, man. I, I hope I hope they learn some stuff about pacing, because <laughs> yeah, they're gonna lose some players here. Like, bruh. I ain't here to be bored about some workplace meetings. Come on, let's get past this. This meeting gotta, you know, this meeting's gotta end soon. This meeting's gotta end soon. You know, at least the MC's got her priority shape straight. She brought this flask of who knows what, pro probably sake in that flask to, to the office. That, that's a great idea. You know, this MC's, this MC I'm already relating to here. Okay. Woo. We out of there. We out of the office. Let's go. Oh, here we go. This button. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Wait. Okay. What does it even do? doesn't even do anything. No, it's just the same as mashing F. It, it, it's just the same as mashing F. That button didn't like skip the whole cutscene, you know? It just like made the bottom like as if I was mashing F, I think. And, oh, we got two shady characters. They, they in all red. That's how you know they bad guys, right? Once they put on the red clothes. Hey, she stole my gourd. Give that shit back. Give it back. I, I, I'm the one with the cool gourd. Flask, whatever. Right? Or do all of us have it? Maybe maybe more than uh, just me has it. Okay. I'm gonna go heal real quick because I um, took a beating from that tutorial. <laughs> okay, so it just auto heals you. That's cool. I see. Oh, very, very schnazzy. So you, when you're just like traveling on the ground, you can just use the grappling hook to pop up into the air a bit. Can we still wall run? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you kind of can. Oh, man, guys. Here we go. Now we're on a date. A dinner date or whatever with these characters. And we're talking about getting carried away. Mongosteen. All right, guys. Since I'm going through this, you guys got to you guys gotta make it through the story with me, too. All right? You guys have to suffer with me. <sighs> yeah, okay. Okay. We, we got to get through this together. We can do this. We can do this. Chapter one. Wait, how do I, how do I get out of the map? That's interesting. I was mashing escape, but I couldn't get out. Okay. We just rob in this store blind. Okay. To be fair, we do that in Genshin Impact too. Like you just go over to some stall in Genshin Impact and start stealing their carrots and radishes. Ooh, it's a cat. It's a cat. Cat. Hello, cat. I refuse to attack the cat. There's no way I'm doing that. Does this kid have... Wait, what? No! What happened? I, I did not want a cutscene. Upgrade ascension to face upcoming challenges. Okay. Happy young young. Upgrade. Auto select. 
Yeah, okay. We're just leveling them up. That's cool. And... Okay, so we just use these rings. I'm sure we got to beat up on some dude to get those rings. All right. Okay. We can do this. We can get through these. We can get through all these cutscenes. Tutorials. What? <clears throat> can you guys even hear the game sounds? Or is this game just like really quiet? You guys want me to turn up the game sounds? Hold that button. Hey, we got this dude. Check him out. Yawn. Oh, what? What am I doing? Pass the trial. Obtain character enhancement items. Oh, okay. Wait, do I have to do that now? Current team level is too low. That's that's reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> level one characters. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we swap? Uh. Yeah. There we go. Well, <laughs> we'll swap swap them out. Level one character for level uh, whatever character. Okay. Let's go. Our challenge. There we go. Please louder. Okay. Let's let, let's let's turn up the game sounds even more. Usually for Genshin Impact Honkai Star Rail, I gotta have it at um at negative 20 decibels. But here I have it at zero now, which is gonna be about the same as my voice. But we'll see. You guys can hear kind of the I gotta say, the sound design and stuff, I'm not impressed by it so far. But hey, it's okay. Right? Like the music hasn't stood out to me yet. Wait, what? Oh, so you can incorporate is that like kind of plunge attack? Wait, was that my dragon thing? Okay, anyway. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I need to spam skills and spam just spam all the cooldowns. That's what that's oh, oh gosh, okay. So we swap to EQ, do the two swap, three swap, two E. I'm just mashing all the numbers and the E's and the Q's. I, I just hope that combat doesn't really devolve into this, right? Where you're just mashing out all the low cooldown abilities. Because look at how short these cooldowns are. They're six seconds, right? Two seconds. They're all two, six seconds, six seconds, maybe ten seconds. So you swap this like that and you got all the abilities up and running again. Alright, so we got... So we're spending our resin, clearly, right? So we got... Union level, this must be your adventure rank. Oh, EXP potions. That's what we're farming. Intimacy. That's one way to call it. We ain't friends with these characters, guys. We we build up that in, inti intimacy measure or intimacy level here <laughs> with these characters. Okay, arrive at city gate. Yeah, let's keep going. I I, I don't need to spend more resin here. Damn it, whatever it's called. What did, did I just? I got some arrows. Echoing march open. Okay, so I'm assuming uh, we got more story mission. Wow, look at that. Look at that big uh, hair thing. What is that called in Japanese? It's like a Japanese term for the big hair thing. Right? Negative. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I I is the game too loud? Turn down the volume. Okay, I'm going to turn down the volume for you guys now. We'll, we'll stick at negative 10 again. We'll stick at negative 10. All right. Ahoge, that's it. Yeah, Ahoge, thank you. <laughs> thank you, my fellow... Uh, Japanese anime enjoyers. Oh, here we go. Guarding soldier. Tell me more. Shifting soldier. I love hearing about their stories. Oh, tell me about your report at your job. Yes, thank you. I would like... This reminds me of the Yanfei quest. Where you're going around handing out legal documents like... Bro, I ain't here... To do some job. <laughs> like, what next? We're going to be filing taxes. We're going to be waiting at the DMV. Right? Like. Guys. Oh, man. Here we go. We can do this. We can make it through this. I believe in it. A dangerous road ahead. I assumed it would be, uh, you know, butterflies and rainbows. You know, with every little critter trying to murder you. Yes, you too. Indeed. Very exciting choices. They gotta add a joke in here or something. Like, where's my emergency food? Right? Where's my tone deaf bard? You know? 
You got you guys gotta add some jokes. At, at least like dad jokes. Like, at least like bad puns. You know? Come on guys. Please. Yes. Please. Oh that that's gonna change their opinion. Saying please, you know? Have you tried asking nicely? Here we go. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Let me let me go catch some Pokemons. Told you about the person. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. So I could ask her all these questions, or I could not give a damn at all and click got it. <laughs> that feels good. Uh, no, stop it. Stop it. Okay, let's go. Come on. Here we go. Can we shoot the birds? Ah, no, not even guns can kill the birds. Wow. Okay. <laughs> let's keep going. Yeah, we're finally in the open world. Feels good. Get some fresh air. Touch some grass. Okay. Yeah, I just... I feel bad. I'm sorry, goat. Is that a tank? Look at this. Can I get this tank? Can we use the tank? No. Okay. Yeah, we can't. It's a cute bunny! Oh my god. Okay, at least the bunnies are really cute. What happens, like... Does it despawn? Like, do the critters despawn or do they just keep going forever? Okay, they, they do despawn. They do despawn. <sighs> Interesting, I guess. Um, I think about two people in the entire world cared about that detail, but got it. Now we know. Oh man, we talked to another dude before we even like kill a single thing or besides a goat. Uh, okay. Yeah, tell me more. Tell me more about the rear guards camp. I see. Thank you. I have a request. Sure, we'll do it. Great. I'll put the coordinates in your terminal. I like the overlapping text, though. That's pretty funny. Has, has unfinished text. Oh, <laughs> very beta. Look at that. Look at that. Test unfinished text. At least they being honest. They're just like, yeah, this, this, this shit's in beta. This shit's in beta. Okay. All right. I see like a treasure chest icon. We got to go for it. Whoa. I'm still not, I'm still not used to just running up walls like that. And we do not run out of stamina, right? So like the pace of exploration right out the gate is just super, super fast. Now, I actually think that it's rewarding to kind of ramp up the exploration process, right? Because one issue I had with like Fantasy Star Online 2 was like the, the exploration pacing was insane. Like your characters bolt at 2000 miles an hour. So what am I doing? Huh? Uh, confirm the patrol right away. What was this? What was this? Am I supposed to like shoot it? Okay. Um, am I supposed to grab it? All right. I think I'm the idiot here. <laughs> oh, yeah. T. No, no, it's not T. All right. Whatever this is, is not very clear. Is there like. Okay, hang on. Let's check chat. Let's check chat. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, am I supposed to stare at it menacingly? Gee. Oh. Ah, okay. So we got the air balloon challenge here. There we go. Wow, that was um, not as intuitive as I would have expected. So when, when something is like that, you know, um, hopefully they kind of get the feedback where, okay, we got to add like, oh, this is how you do aiming mode or whatever. Right. But I guess at the same time, I was criticizing like the pacing and too many. Wait, confirm the patrol route with sensor. Huh? What does that mean? What, 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 what does that mean? What am, what am I doing? Sensor. Okay. Uh, Y'all in chat probably know what to do here. Bro, you skip everything. Hey, yeah, chat asked me to skip stuff, so I am. Let's see. Help button. Oh, man. Okay, chapter two. Cancel tracking. Confirm the patrol with sensor. Okay. E. No. Let's see. You didn't read and you don't. Oh, man, this is karma. Yeah, this is definitely karma. Okay, what, what are these buttons? 
No, that's the gotcha. Okay, what's this? Wow, a lot of stuff. <clears throat> okay, you know what? That's okay. We're just going to grab this stuff. Oh, are these summons? Let's do some summons. This must be summons, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, you know, I'd rather do that anyway. So here we go. <clears throat> oh, there's a tutorial thing. All right, so we got a beginner banner here. And we got, it looks like, um, the featured banner. We got this uh, sword. And this is the standard banner. And, oh my goodness. Targeted convene. So I guess we get to pick a weapon. Sure. Okay. We're going to do the beginner banner and get, uh, hopefully, a new character. Here we go. Turn purple. I'm assuming you could turn gold. Let's see what we got. We got sword of nice. It looks like they got, you know, kind of the random garbage, like three-star weapons and stuff. Just like engine and bad pistols. A Voyager. Raw blade of Voyager. Slasher. We got four-star sword. Look at that. That better not be, like, uh, the only four-star I get here. Oh, man. We got a dupe of her. We already got her. I don't want no dupe of, uh, of these characters. We got to get new That's unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. That's what I get for skipping. It is definitely karma. But we get to take a look. Let's let's take a look at our Eidolons here. Or constellations. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. Let's look at the constellations. Okay. Increase attack by 3%. What is that? <laughs> is is that for real? 3%? Oh my goodness. Like, this is definitely not pay to win if that's the case. Right, these are like 3% increases to attack. I mean, sure, like for min-maxing. But bro, imagine imagine like a 5-star character getting 3% attack. And you spend like 200 bucks on that. <laughs> okay, anyway, let, let's go on. When casting the resonance, let, let's take a look at these, right? Casting the resonance skill emergency plan. If there are 4 intense, so it must be like a stacking thing for a glacial damage... A bite increases by 15%. The healing bonus is increased. Okay, so this is much more significant. But this one, oh, that's useless. Like, don't even make that. Like, oh, I don't even, like, don't even. Increase fusion damage by 3%. Okay, is this like a party-wide buff or is it just for her? If it's a party-wide buff, I can understand more, right? But increase fusion damage, so 3%. Um, upon casting resonance, all this stuff... Shana Hemi Echo. So this, this is one of the critters, right? So this means that she might be incentivized to use a specific critter. Is that what I'm understanding? So you could get pigeonholed into using very specific critters with very specific characters. And those critters may not be um, at their full power level unless you have the constellation. So personally, I don't like that, but we'll have to see how it goes. When Bizer's in a team, when a character in the team loses consciousness, okay, so it's Barbara's Constellation 6. When the character picks up Heavenly Sound, whatever that is, the Glacio damage bonus of all characters in nearby team increases. Glacio must be ice element, right? Yeah, I'm assuming that's the ice element. So this provides a 12% ice buff to the whole team. Pretty solid, right? But the Constellations 1, which has 3% attack and 3, unless those or for the full party, I just don't even have them, right? Like, don't even bother with that. That's that's just garbage, right? Three three percent. No one cares about three percent. So let's let's take a look. Okay, we're gonna upgrade her. Guess upgrade auto, auto select. Yeah. So let's go. So we gotta do whatever that is at solo phase two. Now let's equip one of the critters here. Glacio prism. Okay. Whip waff. So. Uh, the whore toys <laughs> transform into a whore toys and slowly recover life. Interesting. So I don't really want her to transform. Now we swap into her on and getting her to do damage. We just want everyone to do damage. Like I don't want the characters to. Doesn't she heal on her own too? Like she does some healing. We summon to recover life. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what? I'll give her the healing dude. Healing dude. Here we go. Summon cruise wing. Yeah. All right, and then we'll give her, uh, I guess we'll <clears throat> move this. Summon Whiff Waft. <laughs> Whiff Waft, I, I love the name. So, oh, Gathers Enemies. 
We got a little grouping ability there. Oh, wait, but we didn't equip it here. Okay, can we equip it on the main slot? Yeah, so this is the ability, and these are the four stat sticks. That's my understanding of it. And then we have this one. <clears throat> a detonation caused spectral damage. Sure, I've reduced some damage here. I think she's a fire character. She looks like she's a, yeah, she's a fire character. So, Spectro, Fusion, Glacio. Interesting. Glacio. So, her Constellation 3 here increases Fusion damage by 3%. Fusion damage. Is that fire? Right? She increased in fire damage as a Cryo character. That's really interesting. I, I don't know if it's team-wide, though. That's, that's the question. Right? Confirm the patrol ra oh, oh god, we're back here. We're stuck again. <laughs> you? No. R, G... <laughs> Wait, what was that? Was that like a... Elemental vision or something? Okay, wh where is the tutorial at? I saw tutorials, here we go. Hover target. Perception, using perception. And display valuable contents. Grapple, grapple points. Uh, that's treasure chest. Grapple shooter. Fusion prism, glacio prism. Okay. These are the monsters. Resonance liberation. Capture frequency signal. Resonance nexus. All right. Use perception in ex exploration module and display content. <laughs> Pet the dog, pet the dog. Okay, we got it. Yeah, there's the doggo. Here we go. Can we pet it? Can we pet it? Oh, we can. You can even tell it to do stuff. That. We can feed it. All right, all right. Let's feed it. That's pretty cute. Pet it next. It's a, it's a good boy. Okay, so there's no animation for petting it. But you know what? I'm glad that you can interact with them. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we have another dog. Oh, maybe it was this dog you guys are talking about. I went to the other dog. All right. Um, I'm about to... Uh... All right. I'm pressing every button here. Man, I feel like a total idiot. Is there like a sensor thing I'm missing? What about the tab button? What's this? Levitate? Sensor! Release action ID 33 to toggle. <laughs> okay, I, I used it. Oh, T? Oh, it switches your widget. I see. So you can switch between the grappling hook and the... Sen oh, man. <clears throat> okay. I know I haven't really been paying attention to the tutorials and stuff. But seriously, like, there was no indication of... <laughs> of... of the tab wheel, right? At least, at least I, I totally missed it, but hey, maybe that's just me. That's probably just me being an idiot and skipping everything too fast. Oh man. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I am, I am impatient with a lot of this stuff. Uh, okay. Hey. Open sesame. No. Okay. Do I, oh, I see. So it looks like we got lighting the torches puzzle. A classic. Yeah. Pro puzzle solver here. Thousands of hours in Genshin Impact has trained me for this very moment. The light torches. Love it. That is pro gamer move, guys. Alright. <clears throat> we climbing. Climbing this wall. Hey. Random NPCs up here. Cute. Maybe they're having, like, a little date or something. What they definitely want is some random person talking to them. Great conversation, guys. Great conversation. All right, let's glide down here. So, gliding consumes stamina. Holding alt actually kills your momentum, which is interesting because I think in Genshin Impact, um, if you hold alt off the top of my head, you can still move forward at the same time. <clears throat> But I could be misremembering that. I could be misremembering that. Okay, stop lying. I saw it. <sighs> uh, 
Can't move. So hungry. All right, we got this. Uh, we got this husbando here, wearing this mask. He looks like a friendly guy. I like him. Battles are getting real bad up north. Couldn't live there anymore. Figured we'd have to go back to the city. <clears throat> we ain't eaten in ages and we're broke. Some of us can barely move because we're so damn hungry. Ah, uh, found this expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these thingies, we thought it might get us a few pennies. Don't oh, use some pennies, huh? <clears throat> A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden... Wait, what? I was actually reading it. It just, it just cut out. First time I read it, I don't read it fast enough. Okay, whatever. All right, talking about stuff. Stealing some public property. Please return the parts. Cool, I guess we get to beat them up. That's what we do to the poor disenfranchised people. We just beat the crap out of them for finding this random thing on the ground. It should be enough to receive. Giving us all of these... Oh, wait, we're helping them. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I, I guess we're helping them. I thought we we're gonna beat them up, but no. All right. We see we got it. We got a benevolent waifu here. Maybe they'll try to rob us, and that's when we beat them up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, they gotta add sound effects and stuff <laughs> because this this cutscene's kind of goofy without sound effects. I'm sure they're going to work on the storytelling, right? That's That looks like it's going to be one of the biggest things they're going to work on. E, EQ swap. EQ swap. EQ swap. EQ swap. EQ swap. EQ swap. Just spamming the EQs. EQ swap. EQ swap. Okay. So hopefully that's not going to be the optimal way to play this game. Why can't I move? Okay. Yeah, I'm just hoping that EQ swap is not going to be the way to play this game. All right, because I, I wasn't paying any attention. Literally mashing 1 EQ, 2 EQ, 3 EQ, 4 EQ, 1 EQ, 2 EQ, 3 EQ, 4 EQ. So we're going to see if um, the combat system incentivizes us to uh, not play like that in a bit. Um, or maybe, you know, I can just not play like that. But oh my goodness, we're still we're still talking to these people. Like, I have this reminds me of Zenless Zone Zero story, guys. You know, like you get five seconds of combat and then twenty minutes of TVs. Oh, okay. Oh, what are we doing? Come on. Okay, puzzle time. <laughs> Let's go. We got our puzzles. Love, love our puzzles. All right. So this is like Elemental Vision. This trinket here. Um. And, ooh, oh man, it's a lizard. All right, let's catch this little critter. We're gonna catch a little critter here. New Pokemon. Let's go. Let's go catch the Pokemon. There we go. Catch it, yes. Yeah, Virid Blaze Saurian. All right, let's equip him on the fire character, right? Because I'm assuming she can equip this. Level three. Oh boy, so. It looks like you can catch certain levels of these monsters. They all have different affixes too. Holy cow. So that's actually going to be a really interesting farming system where you have to go through the world killing and catching these monsters to get optimal stats and stuff on them. That's that's going to be a crazy grind. That's going to be a crazy grind. Holy cow. I mean, for the for people that are going to enjoy that grind, damn. I mean, we're going to have to... Yeah, look at that. Our lizard boy spitting fire. <laughs> That's awesome. Hang on, we got to look at these other critters. Okay, yeah, you know, that one just heals you. What does this one do? Okay, yeah, so that's the animal one. Looks like it sucks stuff up. Pro sucker right there. Pro sucker. Yeah, it's clear... At the focus is on the main core gameplay. Let's see. Oh, cool. How'd you get the colored text? It's really interesting. All right, guys. I have not been looking at... Um, I've not been looking at chat enough. Oh, uh, he has the... That's Guoba. That's... It. Yeah, we got Guoba here now. Oh, my gosh. I shot it all the way over there. 
Oh man, that little critter didn't stand a chance. Holy cow. I feel... <laughs> you can just... You can just summon your Pokemon to just murder things across the screen. Can we do that with this critter? Yeah, we can. Oh my gosh. So you can chuck them really far too. Wow. Okay. You know, I mean... Yeah, no, the critter system is super interesting. And I think that's really what gives this game a lot of potential. Like the combat system and stuff, you know, we've kind of been there, done that. Uh-oh. Out of stamina. What happens? Oh, God. Okay. But yeah, you know, we've kind of been there, done that with like the Honkai Impact 3rd and the Zenless Zone Zero combat systems. But incorporating that with um, like a Honkai Impact 3rd and combat system, that's... Yeah, wait, I, I was already here. Derp. All right, let's go take a look at what this little windy icon is over here. Oh, I think it's that door down there, but we got we got some more critters over here to catch. Let's go, guys. We're going to catch some more Pokemon. Here we go. Okay. Got to throw our dragon. Yeah, okay. No, I'm calling him a dragon. I'm inflating his ego, but really, it's, um, it's more of a lizard. Very big lizard, to be fair to it. All right. Oh, no, we didn't get to catch any of those critters. Oh, no, we got the fusion. We got the new Echo Doggo there. Let's, let's see. I, I'm more interested in these critters than the waifus, to be completely honest. <laughs> I, I want to try them all out. Okay, here we go. We got Fusion Dreadmain Minor. Let's take a look at it. Pop it on the ground. Uh, Q. Alright, so it just gives a little chomp. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to equip the Fire Doggo on this character. So she gets the two-piece. Oh, wait, what? This dog was not fire? Huh. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's got a totally different set. I, I don't know why I thought it's fire. Probably because it's a fire-breathing lizard. But I guess the element's not necessarily correlated. It's got this energy regen increases bonus. Okay. Got it. Cool. So let's just equip, like, now just a bunch of stuff, right? Just, I mean, we may as well. We got, oh, come on. Equip. But now we got to click on that one. Click equip. Why not? Okay, so I don't like... Yeah, I, I feel like this is... This feels a little unoptimal, but I guess... I guess it makes sense, right? You don't necessarily want to go down on its own. Yeah. Okay, so we, we equipped our MC with a bunch of stuff. Let's keep going. This looks like an exploration minigame right here. Select. All the dots. Uh... Oh! Ah, we got our mushrooms. We got our bouncy mushrooms here. We're already in Sumeru. Hey, those, uh, bouncy those bouncy mushrooms are pretty satisfying. I do like those. Wait, she doesn't, she, she doesn't plunge, but she uses stamina. <laughs> okay, so we could take some serious fall damage from using her like that. That's interesting. When she's in midair, she just shoots instead of plunges. I like that, I like that variety, though. Like certain characters in midair will do different things. And you can swap in midair. That's that's nice. So like like now I can swap to a character that can plunge. Okay. That's a habit from Genshin Impact. Where with a sword, I I jump somewhere where I can plunge in order to break the stuff. All right, okay, let's see. What's this? Yeah, let's break it. Oh, we got a we got our chest behind destructible rocks. So I do like how super visible that destructible rock is. I, th I feel like in Genshin Impact, they're actually pretty easy to miss, the destructible rocks. I think also spending your stamina to dash feels a little faster. Oh my goodness. Uh, that gave me a jump scare. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Character spazzing right there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize this game had jump scares like that. Holy cow. Okay. Alright, let's see. How do we get in here? Enter... Panoramic Mountains. Whoa. Shiny portal. Oh, so this is like a domain. Like a one-time challenge domain where we get stuff. All right. I I'm enjoying this now. Now that we got past the hazing part, or at least part of the hazing part. Oh, man, no. Now we got to talk to this uh, random dude. Okay, yeah. Tell, tell me all about this. You've been waiting here for years. Wait, what? Waiting for someone who can defeat me. Okay. 
All right, yeah, that, that was slightly interesting. I will admit. Two, wait, what? What just happened? What's going on? Oh, is this like a side-scrolling gig now? Okay, we're playing Mario now. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Not sure how I feel about the physics of that. That, that felt really awkward because you don't have any um. Whoa, spikes! You don't have any. Okay, we got to use T. I see. Because you don't have any forward momentum with that mushroom there. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice way to break up the um, to break up the gameplay loop. I can appreciate that. Oh god. Hey, what? There we go. Another grappling hook. Another grappling hook. T. Ah. Okay. Yeah. The. I'm not quite used to like. Oh god. Wrong one. No. 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 Go that way. Wrong. Wrong way. <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wonder if it's a bit based on um, the uh, direction that you're facing. The character's facing might determine uh, which thing you lock onto. That's pretty funny. Uh, huh? Wait, why would I do it again? Do I get, do I get more? Wait, what? Wait, did he just not give me those rewards? Was I too slow? Bruh. What was that? Give me that. Give me those chests. We play those mini games for these chests. We're going back in. Wait. You know what? Whatever. I'm moving on. I got the rewards. It says I got the rewards, so I got the rewards. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I probably should have read what he said. I, you know what? I'm going to try to read a little bit more, guys. I know early chat was like, hey, you got to skip. But no, I got to read a little bit more. Because I'm starting to miss too many details here. Oh, God. No, wrong button. Wrong button. G. Here we go. I like the gun, though. That feels satisfying. Like, it, it feels better. It feels better than the bow. Can she uh, move? Yeah, she can She can walk slowly while shooting. Okay. Oh, we got our Sealy right here. Take me to your treasure, little butterflies. Let's go. All right. Things to murder. Die. I choose you, Charmander. I choose you, Gudra. Hey, where where the butterflies go? Oh man. Wait, what? Pick this thing up. Row. Hey. Cool. Okay, wait, where where the butterflies go, though? Huh. Well, there's something shiny over there, so... We're just gonna go for that shiny thing. Oh, more sleeping turtles. Yeah, look at that fire-breathing dragon. That makes me... Like, that that part... I really like. We have a character's ultimate. Yeah, we haven't done her ultimate yet. Okay, yeah, very uh, Billy the Kid style. From Zenla Zone Zero. Because he would do that too. Like do this bazing shoot everywhere and somehow hit everything. <laughs> Attack. Okay. Yeah, now that I think about it, kind of reminds me, like this character reminds me of Billy the Kid um, from Zenla Zone Zero, who reminds me of Vash the Stampede. I think that was his name right from Trigon. Oh man, that's a classic. That's a classic. <clears throat> hey, what? Air dash! Air dash, look at that! We got an air dash. Alright, that's pretty satisfying. Okay, come on, get up there. You can do it, girl. Oh, oh god. Oh god, Dendro! Dendro OP! Can we burn it? No? Can we slash it? No? Okay. Yeah, Dendro is the strongest element in this game, too. Oh, we can chuck this at it. What? Bro. Oh, left click is throw. Yeah. We commit an arson. We burning this place down. Here we go. What's this? Oh, another one of these. Okay. I'm colorblind. Wait, what? 
I think these two are, di are the same color, right? And these two. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. This this red green color blind stuff. That's a little painful, but hopefully, um, yeah. I, I could I could barely tell. I could barely tell. Where where's my chest? Okay. I, I thought I thought I was supposed to get a chest. Man, they ripped me off here. You do puzzles for chests. Why else would you do puzzles? Yeah, at least a common chest or something. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, we got another one of these tanks here. It's ready to mow down every single goat that it sees. Maybe the bunnies too while it's at it. Okay, let's see. Alright, we got this puzzle here. What? Oh, okay. So it's kind of like Bomberman, I'm assuming. Yeah. It's like you gotta blow stuff up, like, you know, the thing goes horizontally, vertically, like that. So I do like the puzzles. This, this feels like, you know, kind of exploring the open world in Genshin, right? Where you got all these random little puzzles and stuff. Um, oh, why is that thing red? Is it a... Uh, Goddess statue? Yeah. Yeah, that's the goddess statue. So it's got the red beam in the sky. We're going to grab it real quick. I think it reveals the map. Good stuff. Good stuff. They know what works, right? They know what does well. And they doing it. Why fix what ain't broke? No, no pirate. Yeah, Genshin copied Zelda. And then uh, this game copied Genshin. So we got a couple... We're, we're a couple layers deep now. A couple layers deep. <laughs> Is there gotcha? Yeah, there's there's gotcha in this game. It, d it does have Tower Fantasy vibe, right? It's a combination of the wilderness with futuristic. But I will say that this game feels better than Tower Fantasy so far. Like, it's, it does not feel janky right now. I don't know, like, I think Tower Fantasy m might have gotten a little bit better about that, but I've been playing it for a while. You know, I can't really say. Okay, I'm assuming we can blow that up with, like, maybe a red ball or something, right? Unless this game gives you blue balls, too. I don't see any balls to blow it up with, so... Uh, I'll, I'll check this house real quick, see if there's any balls to, to fondle and pick up, but I have a feeling there's not. No, no balls. Oh, wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Yeah, we got some shiny here. There we go. It ain't a ball, but... I think it'll suffice. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey, I was not expecting uh I was not expecting a stone joiner here. All right, we doing our swap playstyle. Go for some aerial gunshots. Yeah. Oh man, he posing too. You see that? He doing a pose when <laughs> he frozen. That's cool. Okay, so let's see what that critter does. Yeah, the Pokemon catching is feels like the highlight of the game. I'm gonna be real. This feels like the highlight of the game so far. Oh, okay, so this one has the healing bonus, similar to this thing. So I want. I think the set effects feel pretty random, right? Because normally, like. Bro, this dude? That dude ain't healing nobody, okay? He, he ain't here to heal people. He's here to sh warrior shoulder charge things, right? Uh, that's no healer in my book. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna go towards that shiny light. Oh, yeah, this is where I did the puzzle earlier. So I'm backtracking right now. We got a couple... Travelers here. Actually, he looks more like Wanderer with his hat. Actually, yeah, look. We got Wanderer right here. This guy, definitely Wanderer. And we got Kaya. Yeah, sure, Kaya. Kaya and Wanderer. Absolutely. The the resemblance is uncanny. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, you know, um, Hoyoverse hasn't uh, spoken up about character designs here. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see. Is the Primo's generous? I have no idea yet. I I will do, I think I'll do a more comprehensive review. Like, 
kind of break down try to play this game a bit more often if you guys want me to stream more often you know let me know you know i, I i've really been meaning to stream more often but it's just so hard to kind of like um kind of get like the whole family ready for it and stuff because i gotta tell my wife hey look you got you gotta take care of kid for me for a couple hours on your own and you know obviously i love spending time with my family too but this was like you know this closed bait is popping up right now so i got i gotta hop on it right i gotta hop on it but uh and then usually after the kids down and stuff you know i'm beat right kid goes to sleep i'm sleepy i'm down too i'm, I'm beat like 8 p.m is my bedtime <laughs> Man, but I, I'll, I'll try. I'll try better. I'll try to be better about streaming and stuff. Hold them still. Let's see. After some chaos, you help some medics in treating the wound. Wait, I, I'm a medic now? Ooh. Got my doctor's license. <clears throat> Medical personnel. They look badly injured. Okay, don't worry. Let's see if thanks to General G. Yen. Only a, a few characters different from... You on. All right. Let's see. Great, you have my thanks. Oh, we're doing a delivery quest now, right? Gotta love the tried and true delivery quests. Here we go. Up. Wee. I am so tempted to jump down, but I have a feeling that's just a waste of time. So we're not going to do it. We're going to resist our temptation there. We're putting our gourd in here. Oh, so this gourd really reminds me of that tablet that you use in Breath of the Wild, right? To like activate the statues and stuff, or not the, yeah, the thingies. Yeah, we got more of the map. Revealing the goddess statues. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm enjoying this game. I'm enjoying this game so far, and I think based on um, how it's going, you know, I think I'm, I'm gonna plan to play it. Uh, on release and stuff. So that that's pretty promising, you know. And um, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good so far. So we got this character here. Here we go. Okay. He's a man full of courage. Influenced by his grandpa. Oh, I see. I have autoplay on. That's why it's skipping when I'm reading slow. And here... Oh, okay. But yeah, this skip button doesn't actually skip the combo. It just... Wait, does it skip to the next dialogue tree? Oh, I think that's what it does. It skips to the next dialogue tree. So you can mash the click there and mash F at the same time. to Go through it faster. Gotcha. So there is a certain element to skipping. And now we can see that this dialogue... Okay, this one does. Yeah, so see if I mash that in F. Now we got the story skipping meta figured out. Right? We got this advanced tech right here. Click and F at the same time. All right. And now we're downloading into our brain, whatever this thing is. Is she a cyborg? Like, is that the twist? Is she a robot? Because that's not what it looks like in my brain, let me tell you. I ain't got all this, uh... It's pretty empty up in here. I got a few hamsters. But whatever's going on here... That ain't it. That ain't it, guys. Oh, so we got... We got some baddies here. Got Diablo summoning his minions. We got that poor generic NPC. Oh. Okay, he's saved by General Dan Hung and Biber Jing Yuan. Very cool. This is the featured character. So we all have these scars here. Yeah. We must be the special people. That's also why we don't have the generic. Um, NPC designs too, is because we got those uh, marks on us. It's a cool combat scene, bro. Yeah, he got the he got the Dan Home Dragon. Holy cow! He got an army. He got an army here. <laughs> yeah, very general Jing Yuan plus Dan Home. Oh, we even get to try him. Let's go. 
Okay, what does T do? Oh, so we can use that for plunge attacks. I love... I actually love that. Whoa! Okay, I just totally whiffed that, though. Are there dash attacks? No, there's no dash attacks. So when you dash, you don't have, like, a special dash attack. You go straight into N1. But see, okay, so I still have kind of the same criticism about this character. He feels very similar to the other characters, right? They all just do, like, a quick flurry of, spe of, of, of attacks, right? Oh, okay, that's different. That's different. We got... Oh, I just wasted my ultimate, didn't I? Yeah, that's different. But I completely wasted it. Oh, wait, no, we got it again. We got it again. We got our cool... Whoa! Wait, why did I go so high up in the air? What is even going on? Ow. Pro gamer moves right there. So I do wonder if um, cert certain attacks kind of lock you in where you can't dodge for a while, right? Because like a lot of games, you have to, you have um, like frames after a certain point in the attack's animation where you can then dodge. Ow. Yeah, like for example, even Genshin Impact is like that, right? So, you're gonna have to like learn, oh, at which point can a character dodge? Don't overcommit to a certain attack in order to be able to dodge still. But one thing I feel like is that the dodging doesn't feel very rewarding. There's no like time stop or big flashy counters and stuff like that, right? Like it's just, um, you know, I think I dodged. <laughs> I think I dodged. <laughs> I'm not sure though. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, maybe they're trying to avoid, like, uh, the time stop trope. Dang. Why am I able to just spam my ultimates here? So yeah, you're gonna have to learn, like, the timings of these enemies. Because each attack will definitely have, like, a different timing, and I'm assuming as you get later in the game, the damage will be more punishing. Punishing... Ray Raven. Cool, yeah, that character's fun. Um, able to basically just like keep going in now that dragon mode where he's twirling his little dragon around, smacking the enemies and stuff. Very cool. So that actually felt different, right? That felt different to play as, and I and I and I like that a lot. Very nice. So they had time stop, too jarring, so they reduced it. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah, I guess my feedback was to be like, make the dodges feel a bit more impactful somehow. You can parry certain enemies. How do you parry? Yeah. Not sure how you parry. Music though, bro, looks so sick. Yeah, it's, it, it felt good. Using that dragon, it felt good. Keep a dude in your mind. <laughs> Coming from PGR, looks a bit on PGR like. Oh, it feels a bit off. Wall climbing feels a bit off. Yeah. Jump could be improved. Jump doesn't feel good. Always make the jump feel good. That's why Mario, like the first Mario game, was so successful. In platforming games where the jump feels good, right, that's like, that's uh, the cherry on top. Okay, go to the village. Um, okay, I guess we'll get a little distracted on the way. Let's see. Oh, wait, I'm going to ambush this bird. If we ambush it, we might be able to get some foul here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, lined up. Let's go! No? Okay, they just fly away and drop the feathers. I'm not sure you can actually kill them. <laughs> I tried. I tried. There was something shiny here too, right? Oh yeah, there it is. There's a shiny thing. I'm assuming there will be some kind of platform to or some kind of thing to destroy with this, like the last one. Oh. Didn't go with me very far. Where do I use that thing? Surely it must be somewhere. Is it that rock? No, that rock doesn't stand out. We're already stuck on a puzzle, guys. Puzzles are too, too hard. Just throw it. <laughs> Buy thing. You know what? Let's climb the mountain a bit. Let's do some let's do some climbing. I mean, did I say climbing? I'm at Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so we got to climb up there. 
use this little what what give it to me oh interesting so huh how do i if i climb up the wall do i have to use the grappling hook for it no i can't okay do i have to climb up the slope what huh okay Let's go around. Maybe there's an area I can just gently hop up. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So you can't parkour up the wall. I feel like that's a very... Ah! That's a very arbitrary restriction. <laughs> this is too hard. This is too hard. Uh, I mean, how do you how do you get up there without doing the parkour? Oh, over there. Okay. That angle over there. Interesting. All right. We're going to figure this out, guys. How many how many Genshin players does it take to solve a puzzle? Probably too many, honestly. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Go slow. Slow and steady. We don't want to accidentally climb. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Can I throw it up there? Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> she just yeeted it up there. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but... All right. That was a, that was a pretty complex, uh, very basic chest there. Okay. I'm going to try to get up this mountain. Hmm. No, the, the uh, structure of the mountain doesn't look very climbing friendly. Okay, well... May as well try. Can we chill here? No. Whoa. Oh, we made it. Okay, this angle was not intentional. I, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at the mountain, guys. Looking at the mountain, not the mountains. The mountain. Yeah, we made it. Here we go. Okay. Big shiny light. What's that big shiny light? But are there no more waypoints? Oh man, I could have just gone from there. <laughs> it would have been much more straightforward. Okay. We're going to try to get to that shiny light. That's our next goal. Shiny light. I do like the uh, grappling hook in midair. Like, pew, and just fly up... Um, Hey, more turtles. Okay, well, we'll kill the turtles, I guess. Oh, interesting. But so did the charge end prematurely because... Yeah, look at the look at the fire-breathing guy. Okay, wait. What is hers? Oh, check that out. She's a ranged character. Here I was just spamming quick swap, so I didn't even know, like, what these characters' attacks are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Interesting. So... What triggers the QTE ability, or the, kind of the quick swap ability there? Oh no, the turtle drowned! Wow, the turtles can't even swim in this game. That, that's, that's unfortunate for a poor little turtle. Man, I, I was hoping to give it a glorious exit in combat from this world, but instead it just drowned. Oh. What an unfortunate fate. Hey, things are beating each other up! <laughs> what? Why are they beating each other up? Look at that. No, oh, it's my turn. I'm here to I'm here to break up the party. Okay, so she's like both a healer and a DPS? Or she can do damage too? Yeah, I guess even like healers in Genshin Impact can attack. But the damage there, I mean, you know, we'll just have to see like... Once you actually build up the characters a lot more, that's going to be a more reflective of how strong the characters are. But obviously right now, we just goof them off in the early game. I like how she she's bringing along her Gudra with her. This one's at, you know, just comes with you everywhere. And she can summon this thing as well. Ooh, dragon gem berries. Okay. Butterflies, pearl grass, uh, a lizard. Picking up a bunch of random stuff. 
Okay, shiny. Shiny light. What's the shiny light? Alright, I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed by the shiny light. It's literally just the shiny light. <laughs> I figured, you know, there'd be something interesting, but no, no, it, it's just the shiny light. That's alright. It led us to the Scarlet Horns. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Let's see. Where are we going? Ooh, another shiny light. Wow. Should we go... Okay, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Should we go to the quest objective here? Or should we go for the bigger shiny light? Let's see. Let me know what you guys... I'm gonna let you guys decide. Don't teach him about speed runs. He is far ahead of that point now. Interesting. There's probably speed runs in this game, right? Boss arena that you unlock later. Quest. The end has a voiceover. Oh, okay. I'm just worried if we... Quest will unlock shiny lights. Man's got his priorities straight. <laughs> Let's do it. We going, we going for, for quests so we can get more shiny lights. Yeah, two in one. Two in one. And unlock those shiny lights. See chat, I need you guys to set me straight. Ominous star. This must be the place. I sense something ominous from the leaf back there. You know, I kind of miss Paimon yelling in my ear all the time. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, alright. Alright, what's going on here? I didn't sign up for this. Interesting, so you're really incentivized to do like the, the swapping abilities. Is this a close range ultimate? Yeah, it's a close range ultimate. There I am just whipping completely. Okay. All right, I want to use the golem from a distance. Yeah, oh wait, oh wait, no. <laughs> I couldn't turn it. That's interesting. There's a lot of like little nuances to the different um, battle mechanics here. Is her ultimate a damaging one or a healing one? I think it's a healing one. Okay, so I'm assuming... Uh, is there like a cooldown? A glow... Oh! It's like a team-wide cooldown on the swap ability. The swap ability seems really strong. Okay, yeah, this girl... Um, just uh, doing her thing in the distance. Oh, so you can do like, you can do like an aerial character that will do some attacks in the air and switch to one that'll plunge. Kind of um, finish the combo there, which is pretty stylish. So yeah, combat. Very fast paced, very satisfying. Purify. Okay. Alright, um, I'm going to take literally a two minute break. Going to get some more... Uh, more things to drink. Be right back. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very much my own. for a stronger resonance with the world. Stopping 
stronger resonance with the room. All right. All right, I'm back. Here we go. Let's take a look. Got headphones. We'll angle now. One sec. <clears throat> Let's see. I always forget which which one goes in which year. Okay, figured that puzzle out, but no chests to be had from that. Okay, find anomalies with the sensor. Levitator. What's that? Okay. I don't know what that is yet, but we're going to try it later. Huh? Wait, I totally missed it. Okay. We got some stuff here. What's that? It's a ball. That is not a normal ball. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> you know what? It's cute. Brother help. Chirp. Where's your brother? Interesting. Because you need to feed on those frequencies. This is the first thing I've been really interested in. Is this little Pokemon thing. Human consciousness into monotonous mumbles. Huh. How are the gotcha rates? Actually, yeah. Let, let's take... Let's take um, a look at the gotcha and stuff in more detail. Right after this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we can skip this. All right, let's take a look. What's this thing too? This is new. Claim. Union level, okay. We're gonna claim this stuff. Claim more stuff. Okay. Wait, did it say equip a blue item? Oh yeah, I got I got a new sword. This, this sword, right? Oh, purple. Wow. It's purple, it must be really good. Man, pretty epic color there. Okay, let's take a look at the gotcha. So here we go. Oh, uh, we got a shopping cart here. Where it looks like... Um... Looks like we have three different pole currencies. And you can get six of each from this shop. This one uses this pole currency, which is the yellow balls. And we have the red balls. So we have yellow balls red balls and bluish balls you have to let me know if those are blue or purple or magenta or something i think purple balls yeah sorry guys i, I can't tell my blues and purples well so okay red balls are for the character bluish balls are for the weapons and we have the standard banner which also shares the same yellow balls then we have a standard banner weapon standard weapon banner with yellow balls now let's take a look at the rates we're going to start with the featured banner because i think that's what we're going to be most interested in here uh okay what's this so this is just a preview of the character himself and here we have the rate up details okay here we go prevail the last night is a featured resonator event of the featured resonator convene type using radiant tide to convene you're guaranteed to obtain at least one four star item or one five star okay so this is four star or five star so unlike genshin impact where i believe the four star and the five star essential essentially pities or whatever like the guaranteed one are independent of each other to my understanding but okay you're guaranteed to get at least one four or five star every 10 summons Guaranteed count is shared across different convene events of the featured resume. So this is the featured banner crossing into the next featured banner. Any unsuccessful convenes to obtain a five star resonator in feature will accumulate towards the guaranteed count. 0.8%. This looks very familiar, including the guarantees 1.8. You're guaranteed to obtain one every 80 pulls. So the hard pity is 80. All right. So... <laughs> Yeah, very similar gotcha to Genshin Impact. Very, very similar. Base probability of this, and you're guaranteed at least one four-star every 10 pulls. So, one five-star guarantee every 80 pulls, 
It does not say that it ramps up, but there may be like a mechanic similar to Genshin Impact where, you know, the higher you get up, like after 50 pulls, it starts to get more and more likely for you to actually get the five star character. And same with this. Hence, uh, every 10 pulls, you're guaranteed a four star weapon. Yeah, so the base probability is this. But because of the guarantee, I mean, it's literally about 10% instead. They just didn't show that, right? The base probability to obtain a 3-star is 93.2%. Every time a 5-star resonator is obtained, there's a 50% chance it will be GN, the limited 5-star resonator of this event. If the 5-star obtained is not GN, then the next 5-star is guaranteed. So this is the exact same as Genshin Impact. You lose the 50-50, you get, um, you know, you, you have a 50-50, then if you lose it, the next one is guaranteed to be GN. If you win the 50-50 or if you get GN from, you know, losing the 50-50 previously, then the next character will have a 50% chance to be the feature banded character. So just like Genshin Impact. Every time a four-star item is obtained, so does it include weapon? Yes. So this includes characters and weapons. 50% chance it'll be one of these characters. So same mechanic for the four stars is that... If you, there's a 50% chance for you to get the featured character, four star characters. And if you don't get them, then the next one will be guaranteed one of these four star characters. Now, looks like it'll have the same problem when it comes to four star characters where you might not get the four star character that you actually want. You could get very unlucky and keep getting four star characters that you don't want. The base rate applies to items gained from convenient and the guaranteed blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's not. When you obtain a 5-star resonator, you already have for the second and seventh time, you'll get one wave band. This is a constellation of that resonator and 15 afterglow coral. So this must be the uh, star glitter. And from the eighth duplicate onward, you will get 40. So this is more generous. It, in Genshin, it's 25. Um, but we don't know like the conversion rate, right? Between the afterglow corals to summons, right? So we'll have to take a look at that in a sec. And you obtain a four star resonator you already have for the second. So this is the exact same thing as the um, five star characters, but obviously just with uh, lower amounts of the currency. And for four star, three star weapons, you will just get these things, um, the currency, regardless of, yeah, how many duplicates you have of that. If the five star resonator you obtain is not GN, you will get an extra 30. Okay, so if you lose the 50 50, you get a small consolation prize here which is nice. So we'll have to see how many pulls this translates into. The weight band for a 5-star resonator is lim limited to two purchases. Oh! So you can buy the constellations for the characters. You can buy the constellations here with the coral store. Fascinating. Okay, let's take a look at that. So we have, th these are like the Stardust, right? You get the potions, you get some random materials. It doesn't look there's monster, it doesn't look like there's monster materials. These are probably stamina based items. And these, these are the ones you get from pulling three star items. <clears throat> and then you have the four star, five star things that you pull. It's an eight to one conversion rate. And this one you need 360. The 360, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, 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 that, 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 that's, that's a lot of pulls that would be equivalent to, um, let's see, so, uh, five of these, ten of these, eighty, um, okay, so, yeah, so, ten, five, ten, what, what is that? Forty-five pulls, right? Oh, man, I, I, I'm so bad at mental math these days, but, yeah. So that's roughly equivalent to like 45 of these for a five star constellation, but that's still like achievable in the long run. And if we take a look at how many we would get, oops, wrong one. If we take a look at how many we would get here. Let's see, how many do you get? You get 15 if you pull the five star. That's an extra almost two pulls. And you get 45 if you pull the wrong five star. So you're going to have to pull, let's say on average, you know, if you add these two up, 
you get 60 so on average you'll get roughly you'll get less than 30 because it's actually a 75 percent of the characters you pull from this are this guy all right 75 percent time you get 15 of those i should bust out a spreadsheet honestly for this <laughs> i think i think a spreadsheet would make sense L let me let me bust one out well, let's do a little bit of spreadsheeting here um i gotta make a new one new spreadsheet and yeah so here we have our spreadsheet so <clears throat> the first thing that we want to see is the conversion rate between this and that so if we want to do the summon it's 160 so it's just like Genshin Impact in that sense so 160 primo gems per pull and we're gonna need each five star that we get let's just each five so on banner is 15 and i'm just gonna call it star glitter because we all know what that is off banner is 30 so i'm really curious to see roughly how many five stars we need to get in order to get a guaranteed constellation of the character right so constellation is worth 360 Yeah, 360. And we have off banner here. So 75% of the time. So average star glitter, this equals 0.75 times this plus 0.25 times this. And we also need four stars. So, um, so we have four star weapons and characters both give weapons and characters both give three, right? Weapons and characters both give three, I believe. Double check that. Where is it? Where is the star glitter? Three. Yeah, three for a character. After you get their sixth constellation, right? You get eight, but let's keep going. So we have three also for four star weapons. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So we have four star is just three <clears throat> now let's just be since you know i i think the rates are we can just do a rough estimate let's just do a rough estimate to be 70 pulls per five stars i i think i i, I want to be conservative on the estimate it's likely going to be higher than that right it's likely going to be closer to 50 to 60 pulls on average to get a five star i don't want to crunch like the statistics math and I, frankly i don't even know how to do the statistics part of it right but so let's say we want 60 pulls which needs <clears throat> equals this times 160 primo gems so already we need 9600 roughly primo gems um in order to do a 60 pull and we're gonna get one five star right so five, uh, let, we're going to calculate roughly how many, the so four stars total, a four star star. Yeah. Just count Yeah, four star count, five star count. And we're just going to use, this is just one times the average. So the name average five star, the off banner, five star and on banner, five star. And we have the four stars so let's just assume let's assume we get eight i think eight four stars is reasonable this equals eight times this so in 60 pulls we're very very crude estimate okay so i want you guys to understand this is extremely super crude estimates but i just want to get a rough super rough like ballpark of what we can expect from this game's gotcha constellation is worth 360 so that means that we're going to need this divided by this number of 60 pulls right so in total we would have to get roughly eight five stars worth of characters in order to get enough for that so this is going to be 
Roughly this much currency. <clears throat> so Genshin Impact, off the top of my head, is 80, 80 Genesis Crystals uh, per $100. I know this, this spreadsheet is super messy, but I'll try to organize it in a more structured way eventually. Um, so in terms of how much money, if you want to just buy it straight out, oops, what did I do? <laughs> I multiplied it. Imagine, they, they would like that, but no. It's about this much. <clears throat> and this equals this times one hundred dollars. So, if you were to just straight out buy based on the Genshin Impact prices, you just straight out buy it. I can see the constellation, the hard pity constellation in the shop, being about a thousand dollars. Now the question is, how pay to win is this character, right? Like, already we can see like. It's pointless to have this game be kind of competitive. Oh, hey, look, we got we got some things in here. Okay, yeah, yeah. We got 590 per day. That seems higher than in Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact 60, right? 60 per day, I believe. Let's take a look at some more of these. Lunat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 60, 40. Oh, wow. First time purchase, 64, 80. So... I'm assuming that you still get a bit of a bonus here because yeah, I'm assuming you get a bit of a bonus and it'll be like roughly 80, 80, just like Genshin Impact. Is Genshin Impact base 64, 80 plus whatever it is to bring it up to 80, 80? I think it is, right? So the prices look just like Genshin Impact. So yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we looking at we looking at this for guaranteed constellation and shop, right? <laughs> now, uh, kids, that that ain't cheap. <laughs> that ain't cheap. Now, uh, looks like it's gonna be pay to win. Uh, so I don't know, like how if this is just like a single player, like Genshin Impact, whatever. You know, I'm kind of fine with that. Well, like Tower of Fantasy, man, like, you know, you get your constellations in the open world and when you play with other people, like that's an MMO, right? So let's take a look at um, this character then. Let's see how impactful the constellations are. You're going to get 3% attack now. <laughs> Usage count of resonance skill sweep wind set. So this is one charge to his E, I'm assuming. Is, uh, yeah, that's just, when casting this, the consumed decreases by Vanguard value decrease. So... Not only can you cast it more, you can cast it, it spends less of whatever this resource is. So this already sounds very good, but we'd have to understand his kit better. After casting the intro skill surprise attack, so this must be his um, swap on attack, he accumulates 30 points of Vanguard value. 30 points that he wouldn't have accumulated otherwise. The damage bonus of GN's basic attack and heavy attack is 36% bonus damage for 14 seconds. Okay, so yeah, we're getting to pay to win territory. After casting the intro skill, take them by surprise. The inherent skill wind gathering effect stacks to the full layer. Oh boy, look at this crap. 16% crit damage. Oh, the crit is in crit rate is 16%. Crit damage 32. This is a this is almost a constellation six level. This is constellation six level in Genshin Impact. At Constellation 3. He ends Resonance, Liberation, Vanguard State ends. The heavy attack damage of the character and the team is increased. The whole team's heavy attack damage is increased. This is actually very clearly stated, right? Unlike the 3% attack in the other, in the 4-star, the 4-star character constellations look like a joke compared to this. Like, what is this? Holy cow. Outro skill, self-discipline damage, multiplier increases by... What is that number? What do you mean increases by this? Like... <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to see what this multiplier is. If it's additive onto like roughly the same multiplier, this is like double the damage or something. If it's multiplicative and it's a big multiplier, then... Bro. Th this dude... This dude is... Whales... Or he's going to squash everything with this shit. So just FYI, I don't plan to whale in this game, right? Because Genshin Impact, I, I kind of made that mistake. So my content now, 
you know, I just, I, I feel like when I make my content, you know, people watch me for a lot of the whale content. But this game, you know, I, I plan to just get, assuming I stick with it, I plan to get characters just at their base level. And that's it. Right? So let's see. <laughs> Uh, anyway, 165.4%. We're going to have to take a look at those multipliers to see what that means. Uh, GN's arrow damage increased by 2.5%. Stacks up to 20 times. So he... This dude getting 100% bonus damage. 16% crit rate. 32% crit damage. Another 36% on his basic attacks with more stamina, more charges, more stamina, more charges. Full team buff. And 165.4% multiplier. Let's take a look at his sixth. Let's take a look at his sixth. Constellation six. Each time you use heavy attack, intro skill, surprise attack, or resonance skill, you gain one layer of momentum. Guys, I'm sweating from these numbers. I'm sweating. This is pay to win. Holy cow, you're going to win so hard with that credit card, man. Credit card gaming all, all, up, all up in here. <laughs> okay. Each time you use heavy attack, intro skill, surprise attack, or resonance skill gun sweep, you gain one layer of momentum, which can stack up to two times. What does momentum do? Casting Resonance, Liberation, Long's Rage Unleashed will consume all momentum. Each layer of momentum, so it stacks up to twice, increases the damage multiplier of Resonance, Liberation, Long's Rage Unleashed by 120%. 240% increase to whatever this multiplier is. Whoo, these are some spicy constellations. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, let's take a look at his skills. Let's see the numbers in here. We got Genshin Impact level numbers. These are very similar. Like level one, basic attacks. What's this? Okay, so yeah, these are just like the traces from Honkai Star Rail. Just some stats. So this one has... Resonance skill. Did one of those increase the multiplier of resonance skill? Prize attack. Take them by the inherent skill effects. Vanguard stable. Which one added the self discipline? Resonance liberation. Okay. So it didn't increase that multiplier because that multiplier is X4. So if you increase this multiplier by like 174, that means you're increasing it by like 600, whatever, right? So there ain't that at least. Let's see. Okay, wait. So when casting the resonance skill, wind queller, if the resolve is higher than 30 points, 30 points of resolve will be consumed. The damage of this resonance wind queller will be increased by 20%. And casting, oh my goodness. Okay, this is, this is, what is this? All right, we don't even have the character. There's no reason to really try to understand it. Um, we can see Emerald Storm Finale. So this is the Fort Circuit, whatever that is. Resonance Liberation. This must be his ultimate, right? I think that's his ultimate. Does it cost energy? Con Energy Regen. Oh, yeah. Res Energy Cost. Resonance Energy Cost. That must be the ultimate. So what does this do? I, I I don't I don't know what this is. Um, okay, so after casting these multipliers here, I I'm scared to see what those multipliers, how those multipliers are added. It's some crazy stuff, guys. It's some crazy stuff. Some crazy pay to win stuff. Holy cow! <laughs> let's take a look at his weapon. Well, let's take a look at weapon banner. Yeah, we got a little sidetracked, but. It's going to cost about $1,000 to get the guarantee. The guarantee um, constellation in his shop. To get this, this, uh, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. To get this bad boy right here. And what's really interesting. Now, I, I think this is both a good and a bad thing. Because free to plays can save up. They can save up. And if they save up, 
over multiple banners of this currency, when this character comes back, you have a good chance of being able to spend it to pull to get these guarantees. So by saving both the pull currency here, or the, you know, the Primo gems, as well as, you know, Radiant Tides, you can, a free to play player is going to be a lot easier. Okay. It's going to be easier for them to get it. Now, the question is, because this costs 45 of these Radiant Tides, there's a pretty solid chance you get a copy of him in 45 pulls anyway, right? So if you're more inclined on the gambling side, you could just buy 45 of these and do 40 more pulls. You get more four star characters like that. So this isn't as free as we think. There's a clear opportunity cost with um, with buying these. So I find this system really interesting. It, it's from what I'm seeing, it's just as pay to win as Genshin Impact. Um, I don't remember Tower Fantasy's gotcha, to be completely honest, so I can't really comment on that, but it's just as pay to win as Genshin Impact. Now let's take a look at his weapon. Let's take a look at the weapon banner first before we take a look at the weapon. Verdant Summit Up. We got uh, one five-star weapon, three four-star weapons featured up. Uh, and summons, okay. Guaranteed to obtain at least one. Guarantee count is shared across different convenient events. So weapon banner will also cross over to the next weapon banner. The base five-star weapon drop rate is this. Oh, look at this. The weapon banner is not more generous than the character banner. And it's already, you're already disincentivized to pull for weapons in Genshin Impact. Because let's be real, like, do we play these games for the glistening abs of husbandos and the mountainous scenery of the waifus? Or do we play this game for a fancy sword? I think the answer is very clear. It's very obvious. We're going we're gonna to spend all our primo gems on the swords. Right, guys? But no, seriously. So I, I, I'm surprised that the weapon banner is equal in rates. Has equal rates to the character banner. Um, personally, if you want to incentivize people to pull on the weapon banner, you got to make it a little bit better, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait. Look at this. It is more generous. Every time a five-star weapon is obtained, it's guaranteed to be the Verdant Summit. So it's already 33% more generous because you have roughly a 75% chance to get the character you want, right? But here you have a 100% chance of getting this. So 75 to 100% is 33% more generous. So you're going to spend 33% less pull currency to get the five-star weapon that you want. I eat my words, right? I was literally just saying that from a game design perspective. You got to make the weapon banner better. So that's cool. You get a guarantee for that. Now, every time a four-star item is obtained, there's a 50% chance it'll be one of the fe featuring... If it's not, if the four-star item is not the aforementioned weapon, the next four-star item is guaranteed to be one of the featured four-star weapons. Okay. So once you obtain this, whenever you obtain a five-star weapon, you get 15, three. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I, I, I should have looked. Okay, so you can get four-star resonators here and four-star weapons. Let's take a look at how many five-star characters there are in the banner. So we have this featured character, and then we have these five other um, five-star characters. And currently, there are nine four-star characters. All right, so that's the current pool of characters. We have 15 uh, pullable characters, as well as our MC. So I think that gives us a pretty decent summary of the gotcha system. Let's quickly take a look at the standard banner as well. The standard banner, same blah, 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 same stuff, blah, blah, blah. Base rate, blah, blah, blah. When you obtain a five-star resonator. So there's no five-star weapons in this, from what I'm seeing. There's no five-star weapons. It's only five-star characters. That's nice, right? Unlike the standard banner in Genshin Impact, you could be trying to get a new character, but then you get the Skyward Spine, and then you're just sad. You're just very sad. You do avoid that. 
I guarantee to obtain at least one four star higher resonator. Base rate applies. You obtain a five star resonator, so same stuff. There's no off banner currency here. Like, you can't get an off banner character and get more of the afterglow corals, right? So, we do have to factor in the fact that you will get some standard banner pulls as well when it comes to calculating the number of corals you need to get the um, the guaranteed constellation that you want, right? For the guaranteed constellation in shop. Let's take a look. We have these five five star resonators. Yep, yep, as expected. So if you want new standard banner characters, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. And we can see pictures of three of them at least. We have um, Encore, Jian Xin, and uh, Ling Yang. So now we have the last banner. It looks like it's a permanent weapon banner. I'm assuming it works just like the other weapon banner, but you pick the weapon. So you are guaranteed to obtain at least one five star weapon. Okay. Base probability, the base rate applies. Okay, so. Are you guaranteed to get the weapon you select? One four star item or one of the chosen five star weapons. So based on this statement here, it does not say that you will get one of the other five star weapons, right? So I would assume that you get the five star weapon you select here in this banner. That's a big assumption here because I don't see that explicitly stated. Wave bands limited to two purchases. You know, that's this. Yeah, five star weapon details. OK, so let's go back to the selection process. I know that's the history. We, we can select it, right? Yeah, right here. Select the weapon for target can mean can be changed anytime does not affect the guaranteed calculation. OK, I must be missing something. You're guaranteed at least. I don't see where it says um, when this weapon becomes guaranteed. I mean, either way, right? This is the standard weapon banner. And it shares the same currency as this. And for a while, I think most people are going to be pulling on the character banner, right? Like, I know for me, I ain't pulling on this until I've gotten everything I wanted from here. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's no way, right? There's no way. So, yeah, that's, that, that's the banners. Similar to Genshin Impact, slightly more generous because the weapon is guaranteed. And th this one only has characters. This one appears to be focused on weapons, but it's not really much more generous in terms of the premium currency that I saw in the shop, right? So very similar scaling when it comes to spending money and getting what you want in this game. Now, okay. All right, let's get back to playing a bit. I want to get up to one more um, temple to finish off the standard beginner's banner. Did we get any mail? Yeah, let's look at some of the collectibles too. Like we have this event. Okay, so we also get this character on day five. She is probably a four star character, but I don't see that reflected anywhere explicitly. Right, like it doesn't really show. But maybe we can get an idea. Okay, so I have no idea if she's a four star or five star character, um, but that's okay. Oh, look at this. Look at all this juicy currency we can do. We can finish the beginner banner. Oh, look at this. As Bondo, we got more of a middle-aged guy. You love to see it. You know, not everyone is in their um, teens and 20s anymore. Although, I guess in Genshin Impact, they're in their hundreds and thousands. A little bit different there. Maybe not thousands. Hundreds. Right? Okay, so rank 5 weapon supply chest. Upon reaching union level five, upon okay, union level. So what's the union level? Is that just like your adventure rank, right? Okay. Let's see. Union level, yeah. Union EXP, union level, level seven. 
That's where it is. That's what that is. Same as adventure rank. So claim. Oh, okay. So this is just, um, you claim this stuff for your union levels. This is, oh, max stamina. Hey, let's go. Although I never felt like the stamina was an issue in this game so far. But I think I'm just not utilizing it then. <laughs> Maybe you get more dashes to spam during combat. Okay, so here's all the all the enemies. Oh, you can track them on the map. Yeah, you can track them. Very cool. Okay, so it's just like the Monster Handbook in Genshin Impact. We have Union the XP, some gold. What is this? What is this rank? Is this like the Adventurer's Handbook? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the Adventurer's Handbook. Oh, we get a new monster. Okay, we're gonna do that real quick. We're gonna do our adventures handbook. We level up a weapon, right? So let's level up a weapon. Wait, no, no, no. We're gonna do our pull first in case we get a better weapon. Although I don't think there's weapons on this beginner banner. Can we take a quick look at the beginner banner? Ah, uh, it's it's a beginner banner. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. You know what? All right, all right. For completion's sake, let, let's just get a quick understanding of it, right? Let's see. Same stuff, guaranteed. Every 50 convenes. Huh. Oh, okay. So this isn't like just 20 pulls. You can pull up to 50 times. I'm glad I read it. And also that means I don't have to read the rest of it. I'll just keep going. Because I, I can pull 30 more times, right, on this thing. Yeah, so I'm assuming I only got a 4 star here. Originate type 5, type 2. Oh, no! No way! We got another constellation for her? Ah, oh, come on. Still no new character. This account's cursed. This account's cursed. Oh man, that's bad. That's so bad. I don't want another her. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Okay. Ah. Let's let's upgrade our sword. Oh, man. Well, you know what? Do I get 3% more attack with her constellation? <sighs> more healing. And Glacio damage bonus when you have 4 intense, whatever that means. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, let's claim. Let's see if we can squeeze out another temple. Oh, we got our gotcha addiction in here. Oh man, we gotta we gotta claw our way for every resource. Speaking of resources, let's let's get an understanding of what all this stuff is. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to click on all those to make the exclamation mark go away. Like, don't make me do that. Why is there still an exclamation mark? Use. Oh, I didn't click that one. Oh, come on. If we have to click on all these things just to get rid of the exclamation mark, no. No, don't don't make us do this. Obtain 60 wave plates. Is the stamina the wave plates? Is that, is that what this is? Stamina is called wave plates. It's a no. Alright. Data bank. Oh. Do we get another level? I guess so. Tutorials. Okay, no. Nothing there. Trophies. <clears throat> Alright, so we got our achievements. Or, uh, is there a claim all button? No claim all button. Alright. Um, no claim all button, so... Well, I think I think it's worth the clicking for now. Uh, let's, let's keep going. Just click them all. Do another 10 pull. We're going to have Constellation 6 that healer character at this rate. It's gonna be Constellation 6. <laughs> okay, bundles. Can we buy anything here? No, we don't have this currency. Okay. So, we have the standard banner stuff. Alright, we're gonna buy three of these. We're begging and clawing at this point. <clears throat> Alright, let's go do another ten pull on the beginner banner. Oh, here we go. Don't give me another one of that character. Come on. Come on. 
I my heart can't take it. If we get another one. Let's see. Oh man, I mean we already have her too. Alright. It, it's not looking good for our gotcha experience. We got another constellation on her, I guess. Okay, 20 more pulls. But, but you know what? I need a break. I need a break from, from this gotcha. It's... Oh wait, did I get it? I got a new monster, right? Anyway, when casting resonance skill, it will definitely crit. Hell yeah, that's a good one. It's actually a good one. It's a good one. Okay. Whoa. Look at this dude. Alright, let's try him out. We're getting rid of the golem. And we add in... Blautist. Blautist. Ending endless resonance attack increase. Okay. Take a look at our new Pokemon at least. Dude. <laughs> we already got new Valette. Like, we've been playing for... A couple hours... Goofing off, and we get new Valette already. Hydro Archon right here. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we got Guaba. And we got new Valette. Okay, so you terminate the laser when you swap off. So you can't... You gotta let the animation play out if you want all the damage from the laser. Alright. What's this? Oh yeah, it's my bug. I got a little bug buddy. Hard. Alright, let me adjust. Oh, there we go. In a bit. Uh, using humans and tacit thingies. What are we talking about? Okay. Wait, did I just notice something about the MC? Look at that. There's, um... Okay, I'll show you. Oh, it's a cat! I do love cats. Uh... That's my reaction, too. What the... F what just happened? <laughs> There we go. Now I'm a bit more interested in the story. Now I'm more interested. Oh, we got Arlequino here. Man, that was fur raising. How scary that was. She just got TP'd out by this scar guy. Yeah, some of the earlier cutscenes need to be more like this. Because... I don't know about you guys, but those office meetings about databases and stuff from earlier... Bruh. No, no one cares about that. But this guy, yeah, he's a bit more interesting. I care what you're saying. Yep. Okay, tell me. Tell me everything. Scar. He's got a zipper here. Interesting. Oh, we got Nahida's elemental skill. Look at that. I wonder if he's going to mark characters like that. And trigger elemental reactions. Or trigger Trikarma purification. Oh, I guess uh, the MC is very desirable here. Oh, we're, we already ma we made our first friend, guys. Scar is our dear friend. Uh, so it appears to be a couple of factions that um, might not like each other trying to recruit us. I mean, what, what are the benefits? 401k matching, hopefully some stock options. RSUs. Maybe some good health insurance. Alright, I'll join. What, what's the bonus? 
You know? Hopefully at least 20%. Alright. Oh, it's the job responsibilities. Alright, kill a few people. We got this. Villagers. Easy peasy. Sounds like a good job. Are you going to give me back my blue waifu though? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul. Now we're over the story is yours to spin. Eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Wait, where, where's, where's, where's the girl? Uh, can you give her back? <laughs> uh, okay. If I keep choosing attack, do I just fight him? I hope he whoops my ass, honestly. It looks like he's gonna whoop my ass. Now let's hope he actually does. You gotta fight some a little harder, you know? Eh. Where are you at? Got my grappling hook. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. What's the right path to take? I have no clue. I'll just take this one. Whee! It's nice that we already have that um, form of travel so early on in the game. Oh, okay, so we're fighting these really lanky dudes. Oh wait, we gotta laser them! LASER! <laughs> Alright. I can appreciate that. Okay, so we can change grapples mid-grapple. So, that can definitely lead to some mistakes. Okay, we gotta laser him. Yeah! Now we gotta fire them. I'm just gonna be a Pokemon trainer, guys. What's the point of attacking? Alright, we got, we got Pokemons for that. <laughs> oh, well, he's like Linny. He disappears, he's got his magic cards, he looks like he's Pyro. Yeah, look at the Pokemons. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Looks like it's a three-hit harder. They're gonna have a lot of different attack strings, too, I'm assuming. So we can use... Oh. She's not able to hit him very well when he's in midair. So we'll probably need to figure out how to best hit midair enemies. All right, we're going to do the tried and true switch spam. Because I wonder if you have iframes too while you're doing the switching. I feel like I have to pay a little more attention to this fight, although not really. Yeah, she can shoot him in the air. Oh god, you can't dodge in the air though. <laughs> At least uh, not while she's shooting like that. Laser! Does the laser keep shooting after she swapped like that? I mean, the lizard definitely keeps going. Alright, I love the laser, guys. I'm sorry. Wait, was that it? Oh, come on, Scar. Come on. I expected you to kick my ass. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of hard fights later, right? We're we still getting in the early game. Okay, am, am, I, am I the only one that likes, like, you know, kind of like a ridiculously hard fight in the early game? Uh, just to kind of like see how far you can kind of get, but not really, right? It's like a fight you're kind of destined to lose, but that's just, uh, that's just me personally. Oh wait, we got her out of the teleportation. Okay, that's good. Yeah, engine killer. They nerf everything. Interesting. No, yeah, only me. <laughs> Purple new let OP, definitely. Linny but straight. Interesting. Oh, M-Tash has CNVA. Okay, let, you know what? Let me take a look at that. I'm going to take a look at the voice options. 
uh, right after this cutscene. Because, yeah, getting some, getting some uh, voice acting up in here would be good. Crownless is nerf. Interesting. I have no idea what that means. But, yeah, so I don't know what's been nerfed and what's not been nerfed. I... There's no Paimon but a team of waifu instead. Absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I do plan to try this game. Yeah, okay, let me try the CN dub after this. I do plan to try this game on mobile as well. Because I like to just get that perspective as well. Alright. Hey, it's our little cutie friend here. We got a demonic Pac-Man. You know, this Pac-Man's been through a bit much. Nuclear wastelands. Kind of transformed him. Okay. So, oh, I missed red colored waifu. Uh oh, oh man, yeah, I missed one of the waifus. That's unfortunate. Side, <laughs> side booba, SAO. Yeah, there is a lot of side. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a lot of side boo. Oh my goodness, there is. I do wonder if this game will get the censorship treatment. Right, because like kind of the CN government a little strict on that stuff. Any other notion of this being a Genshin killer? Hey, it's way too early to say, um, but the game is fun. Now the question is the staying power as well as getting past the hazing parts of this game where like you got to get past, you know, some of these uh, <laughs> slower parts of the game. Okay. Voice. Graphics, advanced, okay, horizontal, gamepad, language selection, voiceover, okay. Mandarin, download. That's it? Okay. All right, it's a little slow, but let me check chat while I download this. If the game is small, no one would care to report to get censored. Just like Honkai Impact 3rd. How long I'm going to play today? I guess until I'm really tired. Um, honestly, right now it's my bedtime, which is 9 p.m. But uh, I, I'm having fun, right? So and once I kind of just get tired of it, I'll, t I'll take a break. You need to polish the game tree like a AAA game, not a mobile game first. It has Genshin killer potential. It has more endgame than the Spiral Abyss. It's a winner in my books. Yeah, we're going to have to see how the end game goes and how like kind of the pay to win element comes into this. If there is PVP or I don't know, like multiplayer aspects where you on for those of you that weren't here when we took when I took a look at the constellations for a featured five star character. Oh my god, those were those are those put Genshin Impact's constellations to shame from what I saw. Right, but it's a little early to make that call because I don't even have him or any ability to test it, right? But those are some pretty cracked constellations. Do I have a favorite character yet? Uh, not yet. I will check the mail right after this. Cheap copy of Genshin. Yeah, that's a that's an opinion. Yeah, fine opinion to have. The end game is to become the Pokemon Master. That's what I want to see, right? Like, how important... The Pokemon Master aspects are language selection. We're gonna select Mandarin. Hopefully, we get some actual voices in here uh, with that. All right, check the mail. Where's mail? There it is. Oh yeah, I already, I already grabbed that. Well ahead of you guys. Already grabbed my gotcha gambling addiction. Okay, so this is just some news in the game. Player survey. Okay, let's let's keep going. Um, I'm gonna see if we're able to get a five star character by the end of my play th by the end of today or not. It's just a, a rough goal. Sadly, I didn't achieve my goal of climbing that mountain and jumping off of it. I got too distracted by everything else. So let's just get up here, investigate. Yeah. So I'm just gonna set a goal of getting the five star character from the 50 poles complete wooden plaque okay are these monsters can we catch like humans 
Oh, oh yeah, Q. Yeah, there we go. The characters in combat have their Chinese. Can you guys hear it? Do you still want the, um, the game volume to be higher, or are we good in that? Uh-huh. Pro propulsion flux. You can lift the resonator. Lift me, please. Thank you. There we go. Okay. I'll check chat in a sec. Okay, so yeah. This is just like Genshin Impact, those rings. Did you do it? Huh? Did I miss one? Oh. I missed one. <laughs> Can we make it back in time? Let's go. Let's go, come on. This is the true end game. Seven seconds. I'm already failing my first exploration. No, we have to redo this one. Oh man, how'd I miss that? Okay. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty, that's pretty shameful. All those years of, with my gliding license, in Genshin Impact. All those years of gliding license training with Amber didn't help. Didn't help me one bit. There we go. Now we're pro gliders. We're pro gliders here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so. I feel like the music here is pretty relaxing. Pretty relaxing. Okay, let's turn it up a little bit. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. It's like ambient. You know? Okay, it's too loud. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if I killed your eardrums. Yeah, okay. It's pretty ambient, but... Um... I guess I'm already going away. And not much, not much. I thought I heard some stuff that was worth sharing with you guys, but I guess not. Hit a piano. Hit a piano. You can hear the birds as well. Some nice ASMR. Right? At the wind. Oh, she got a cool charge attack. <laughs> okay, I think we got enough um, of the ambient noise and stuff. Nice. Let's keep going. I'm gonna kill a couple turtles. Oh no, these aren't turtles. These are little piggies. What does her charge attack do? What am I doing? I have no idea. Okay. Alright, we gotta scrape up every primo gem we can. Every primo gem we can to get that five star character. Let's go. Place the complete wood plate to activate that puzzle. Okay, yeah. Well, let's go check out a couple more puzzles while we're on our way. Kill a turtle. There we go. Okay, we'll follow this. I'm gonna keep my eyes. Whoa, that turtle will be spinning. Okay, there goes the butterfly. And these things do take you for a pretty long trip, though, I will say. I miss the early game Sealies in Genshin where, like, you take them, like, five feet and then they give you a chest. You know? Petra. All right, give me the goods. Okay, so just gave me five primos and ten adventure rank EXP. So they don't spawn chests. Now we have a holographic thing here. What's this? Collect coins. Hey! I'm playing Super Mario! 
Transform into a cruise wing for flying. Collect as many gold points as possible. Our points you collect during the flight. Okay, so we... Oh. <laughs> I see. Wait, wait, what? Okay, this thing's moving. How do I go up and down? Double? How do I... How do I go up and down? Okay, I think... Oh, I, I think I angled the camera. Okay, I angled the camera. That's how you move up and down. I think I missed some. Oh, take me back. Yeah, I, I, I missed one or whatever. So I have to backtrack? Where was I? Where was it? Oh, whatever. <laughs> I think it was around here somewhere. Well, I guess there's some chests on the way. All right, here we go. Torch lighting experience. What's this? I see. Oh, we just got a dropper buddy right here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a drop. There we go. Gentle. Gently does it. There, I'm just yeeting it across. Alright, give me that piggy. There we go. We got a new piggy to add. Let's see. Oh man, I want to finish that challenge again to get the last coin that I missed. I didn't know how to move vertically. But I don't remember where it was. So there's a lot to do. And it feels it feels pretty fun, right? I'm getting sidetracked. And that's the thing, right? Like these open world games, they feel really... Oh, I almost killed the bunny. I can't believe it. I, I, I can't kill the bunnies. That, that's too sad. But yeah, these open world games, you know, if you feel like you want to get sidetracked, that's how you know, like, they're doing something right with it. Okay, he didn't give me a side quest. Usually that's the main reason to talk to these NPCs. Okay, you know what? I, I forgot where it was. We're just going to go towards the shiny circle. We've gotten a bit off the beaten path, though. Wait, there's a chest right here. Oh, well. But why is this circle grayed out? Oh, it's a, it must be a quest. This is like a side quest. Save the cat. Crack. Okay, let's go save the cat. Now this, the task I'm willing to do, it will save, oh my goodness, it's too high. You know what? For you, little kitty. We'll save you. We'll save you. Oh. Let's change to the grapple. Okay. Wall traversal does feel a little janky. But I think we established that when I started streaming the game. I guess you just kind of have to get used to the nuances, right? It's like Genshin Impact at the beginning also feels a bit janky at times. But once you kind of get like, oh, I got to approach it at this angle, that angle, whatever, whatever angle. then you can probably get a better... Ah, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Okay, <laughs> we're going around. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, look! No, look at this little kitty. Okay. Like I picked it up. Personally, I was hoping they'd go above and beyond and like put the cat on your shoulders or something. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. There's a chest here somewhere. Is it higher in the tree or lower? Oh god. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Oh, no! Grapple, grapple! Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, climbing. Feels really weird. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna take it slow. Patience. Patience. Is there a reward at the top of this tree? <laughs> or am I just suffering?
Oh god. Okay, yeah, I, I don't see any treasure up here. Alright, tree climbing a bit janky. But that's okay, we'll give it a pass. Give it a pass. Where's that chest though? Is it in the... In the pagoda thing? No, it's just a kid. Maybe the chest is over here somewhere. Can you regen stamina while falling? Nope. Can you regen stamina with a grappling hook? Nope. Okay, so once you're in the air, your stamina is pretty committed. Alright, I can't find that chest. Let's just let's just move on. We gotta finish saving the cat. Whee! It's fun to do the little grappling hook jump. Nice dialogue. <laughs> okay. Save the cat. Okay, so we got some credit. Okay, I think the rewards there didn't seem like it was worth it. So, wait. Let's main quest track. Alright, we're going to stick on the main quest. But let's swing west and grab the two teleport waypoints on the way. Actually, you know what? We're just going to teleport to the quest. Loading times are good. That's good. You love to see it. Game does game does not feel like unoptimized or anything, but my computer is pretty good. Right? My computer is pretty good, so I, I don't know about the other devices. Hey, music to my ears. We got Chinese voice acting. We got some voices in here. I have to admit, I'm keeping my trap shut now that the characters are talking. Okay. Oh wow, the voices of those little Pac-Mans are like little girls. I was... I don't know why I was not expecting it to sound like that. Or maybe it just kind of plays back recorded audio? Oh, the sensor. Oh, I use the sensor. Here we go. We got a book. Came all the way into this pit for a book. Cool, it's a diary. Let's see. Oh man, is there some spicy stuff going on in the chat? Let's see. Message retracted. Wow. Okay. Maybe I missed some, uh, maybe I missed some drama there, but <laughs> I, I guess I'll, I'll just keep, uh, uh, collecting rocks and stuff. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Talking to her again. Alright. I mean, yeah, with what the characters are wearing, I can understand it being very cold. That's the case with most animes and games. Oh, so even this skippable dialogue part is voice acted. I do wonder how far they'll go with the voice acting. Right, like whether, like even like a lot of the NPCs and side quests are going to be voice acted. Okay, so now we have to reach Union Level 14. Daily tasks. Consume wave plane. Wave plates. Complete tasks. Unlock treasures. Alright. Let's get to exploring. Dora the Explorer over here. Guardian Rectifier. Interesting. Oh, guidebook. Wow, look at all this stuff. What? Okay, sure. Yeah, let's track it. Go. Let's go kill the shiny dot. Whee! Whee!
Oh. It died? Or what happened? Oh man, that thing looked like it was going to put up a bit more of a fight than that. Okay. Cook. How do I cook? Wah. Wait. Okay, let's try that again. Cook. Feed. Wait, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. I got I got all my dailies. 60 primo gems. 2000 EXP. I don't know what the scaling is like though for the adventure rank EXP. Um universal currency. We got some EXP modules. Resident more EXP modules and weapon EXP. Okay. That's good. So you get some character EXP and stuff. Complete chapter one, act whatever, upgrade one weapon, one weapon. Okay, so am I able to ascend new function unlocked pioneer podcast? Complete the pioneer podcast and you can get EXP can be used. Boss challenge. You can obtain character ascension materials from boss challenges. Okay, yeah, yeah. So these shiny lights that you guys were, I think some of you guys were telling me earlier, they're the bosses. So let's go beat up a boss. Where is it? It's, it's, it's right next to me, right? Right next to me. Where is it? Oh, it's underground. How do I get down there? Uh, must be that hole that I was just in. Yeah, it's got to be that hole I was just in. Okay, yeah, let's do a boss fight. I'm assuming it's like world bosses like the Cryo Regisvine or whatever. The first. Oh, I already broke that one. Wait, what? Okay, we got sidetracked. <laughs> we got sidetracked as always, but that's a good sign. You love to see it. Yeah, we got stuff. Air dashing. Whoa, can you only do one air dash at a time? I think so. All right, so there's the boss. Nice, we can grappling hook our way over. Okay. Huh? huh? Open sesame. Uh, huh. Let's see. Wait, what's this? Oops. Oh, okay, it's the battle pass. Okay, this looks just like the one in Genshin Impact. <laughs> this one... The, the resemblance is uncanny. What can I say? <laughs> got some stuff. All right. Okay, okay. A am I an idiot? Do I need to use, like, a sensor? Okay. E, Q, middle button. I mean, there's no way that... All right. Uh... Huh. Uh-huh. Increase the... Alright, guys. I feel like an idiot. What am I missing here? It says... Go to high place in quest info. Oh, it's story locked. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I did plunge on it. Okay, yeah. I mean, it, I guess it's story locked or something, but... It'd be nice to have a more clear indicator. Oh, race in the river. 2,000 EXP! That's a lot. Okay, we'll fly past this one on our way. To see if that boss is there. I'm assuming it's not. But I guess we'll see. That's the whole point of exploring, right? Hey, we got our... Definitely not mints. Warning, crownless. I do not know what that means. Okay, so yeah. There's the thing here. I'm assuming it's like the previous one and we can't get into it. Let's see if we take plunge damage. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. I can fight this one. Oh yeah, she's animation locked during that, I forgot. Wait, did she just take half her health? Um... Is it just me or I'm doing, like, no damage to it? 
I should try to figure out how the characters work, honestly. Because I have no idea. Am I invincible during that? Oh, I am not invincible during that. I am not invincible during that. Oh god, I'm so screwed. Does this heal me? Oh wow. Yeah, it does heal. Holy cow. It heals a lot. Oh, okay. I think I kind of stun locked. That's it. I have to pay attention because this thing actually deals damage. High frame. Ow. Seems like swapping does make you pretty vulnerable. Oh god, that's right. I forgot. It doesn't tank it. Oh my god, look at its health bar. Its health bar hasn't moved at all. I think I need to level up my characters. <laughs> this is going to take way too long. Okay, looks like he's getting serious. What is even going on? Oh, I can shoot him in the air though. I will say the healing feels really powerful. Okay, this is gonna take way too long. I think I gotta call it quits. Like, look at this thing's health bar. How long have I been at this? Ow. Look at all those Pokemon going at it though. Okay, okay, this is taking way too long. Can I get out of here? Ah! Oh God. Goodbye. Okay, okay, we survived. We survived, but we're gonna we're gonna need to uh, level up or something because that was taking a long time. <laughs> okay, but it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I just uh, not sure I have the patience for that. <laughs> for that. So to answer that question, okay, yeah, my character is level twenty, for God's sake. Um, oh, let's stick with the MC for now. We'll build the MC. And we can already ascend them. Okay, that's good. We can already ascend the MC. So, we're going to ascend all, all our characters here. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to do a bit more damage. Okay, so we got to kill something for this. The Glacio Predator. Does that one up there? I don't know if I've unlocked it yet, so we'll have to revisit that later. Let's... Okay, so we already have her materials. Cool, cool. Upgrade. Oh, oops. I used all my XP on her. <laughs> Not what I intended to do, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. What element is this character? Oh, she's Spectro. Okay. So I have some Spectro. Auto-equip? Sure. Got a turtle. But I, I want my laser still. Where's my laser? Where my laser at? There it is. Um, yeah, we're still gonna equip the laser. We'll auto equip her. Confirm. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about the auto equipping. Um, I mean, it probably knows what it's doing better than I do, but uh, what? I want my lizard back. See, I'm already attached to some of these. I'm already attached to some of these critters. I want my laser man. Or no, not laser. I want my guaba. There we go. We got guaba. Okay, and we'll just do a quick auto equip. Wait, no, no, no. Not her. Not her. Unequip. Yeah, her. There we go. We're using her. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough for now. Let's switch some weapons. Looks like we gotta actually try to energy regen. Okay, sure. We'll switch over to it. Automatically level the weapon. Gonna, um, I think I'm going to mainly use these two for damage. That seems sensible. So, you know, I don't care. You know, this is a super, super early game. Once you get past this stuff, right, like these resources are 
gonna be like you know not like super generous but at the very least um you know like a, a day of farming or something and you can uh you can yeah that's good enough level 36 seems good every eight resonance skill used i i really should start looking at the characters and see how they work uh, soon but i'm impatient we got to get our five star character first Okay. Well, this uh, Ursa Luna here is um, pretty beefy in comparison to... Wait, what the? I'm in the water. I'm swimming. Taking a swim. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just swapping into the water. Get me out of there. What the heck was that? All right. All right. So since the swap doesn't put you where your character is and it kind of puts them to the side, you might be taking the dip in the water before you want to. And let's stop tracking that. That's, that's, that's annoying. I don't want to see that on my mini-map. <laughs> yeah, we got some funny, uh, funny interactions there that could use some ironing out. Where's the chest, though? Hey, there's something shiny. Do I need a short character or what? Oh, yeah, I can just go around. Okay. That'd be pretty funny if you have to get like a five star short character get some items. That'd be such a troll move. <laughs> they should not let me uh, design things in video games. Okay. So we got some butterflies flapping. Let me see if I can look at chat for a bit. Is there a parry mechanic? I think there is, but I have no idea how to do it. Yeah, if you don't want, if you want hardcore mode, just don't level up anything. <laughs> hey, I mean, I guess I would have killed that thing eventually. How do I unlock this? Oh, I see. I have to get four of the um, butterflies. I have to get four of the butterflies. Oh man, I can't even fight these things in the water. <laughs> Here I am swimming. Okay. pretty funny how you end up mi swimming mid-fight. Alright, here we go. Second node thing. Let's get the third one. There it is. There are the butterflies. Whoop! <laughs> so the parkour is pretty random. Kind of like when you're at the edge of a cliffish. She'll do like a crazy backflip off of it. There we go. Give me the goods. Yeah, we got stuff. Good old stuff. Okay, take a look. Um, flame, flame. What is this? Unlock the resonance nexus in a port city. Okay, so is it worth rushing these? It's only 60. It's really not that much right now. Yeah, how are we doing in terms of currency and stuff? And did we get any new mail? We did. Oh, it's just a survey. Okay. So it's funny, these surveys, they give you a trivial amount of the currency. This is almost the exact same amount of trivial currency that you get in the Genshin Impact betas. Or not the betas, but like Zenless Zone Zero beta and stuff. Right, in the uh, MiHoYo games betas. So they even copied the amount of like water current or the amount of currency you get from here. They're pretty funny. Oh, what? Wait. All right. Who sends you mail without even attaching a little goodie to it? Right? Like we get this mail here and bro, at least give us a thousand Mora. Oh, we got nothing. We just got a message. When it's your birthday, I expect you to give me gifts. All right. Let's see. Okay, let's grab all the primos we can't. Oh, wait, no, that's the tutorial. We need achievements. Trophies. Yeah. Grab all the primos. One is mashing left click. Let's take a look. I even have RXN. Engine 2 hardware. What? Oh. 
I grabbed them all. Okay, that was quick. Yeah. Okay. Missions. So we have these three. We have another side quest. These ones give 100 primos. Um, what's in the backpack? What's this? Oh! So we have Rover's Eidolon. Constellation, sorry. Um, let's take a look at her constellations. Fusion damage by 3%. We got the goods in here, guys. 3% more damage. <laughs> okay, come on. How come some of these add like, you know, like, what? 70% crit value. And then the others add 3% damage. I, it's okay. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Wait, we can make her pose. Let's see the poses. This is nice. Okay, guys, let me tell you why this this here, this screen, this screen is amazing for grabbing character thumbnails and stuff. Although you can't seem to change the camera angle, but Photoshop will just immediately chop out everything in the background, and that's going to take seconds. Holy cow, the physics. Wait. What's the physics? Pay attention, boys. I thought they were a little more impressive than that. Was it this one then? Yeah, look at the hair physics. You know, they really put a lot of effort into it. See? Like, if you guys didn't notice, the hair was waving really nicely there. Okay. So. Here we go. Oh yeah, we're doing a side quest. Okay. Yeah. And I got sidetracked from a side quest. That's how sidetracked worthy this game is. At this rate, we're going to get sidetracked from the sidetracking of the side quest. Alright, so we got the featured five-star dude, Dragon Dude. General Jing, Jing Yuan and Biber Lune in the house. Alright. Okay. Am I going, uh, am I going through too fast here? Uh, are you guys paying attention to the story or? Or what? Yeah, this actually looks like, you know, a well designed middle aged dude. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Targeting only wife is, yeah. To be completely honest, like, if I were playing the game like not as content creator and getting like every character for content, you know, um, I'm I'm a waifu over meta player, 100%. 100%. Even though, like, you know, I try to min-max for, um, for meta. Fundamentally, it's waifu over meta for me. Oh, I see. It's his character story. I feel like this character story is going to take too long for the rewards. Um, maybe I'll pursue it in a bit, but let me check to see how close I am to why did this oh level up gift pack hey oh nice it's even got some poles in it okay oh next one's at 20 oh, that's 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 a far way away let's try to get our five star character let's see how many poles we at where's the where's the wishing again w wish here we go oh man we're, we're not really very close okay yeah, this could take a little longer than I than I would like. Um Okay. Alright, fine. We'll do we'll do the site. We'll do the quest. Do the quest. Alright. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can make it to getting the five star character today. Um I'll try a little bit harder. I'll try a little bit. But unless we get a miracle and a bunch of pulls just fall onto her head somehow, 
It's not looking good for us. Instead, we talking to these bros here. Gold Puff Puff Relay. Is that a Pokemon battle? What's the Gold Puff Relay? The former team controlling a Gold Puff. Ask the next person after a certain distance. Wait. Wait, no, this sounds like a ball game, like like a sports ball thing. Where you throw a ball around. Okay. I was hoping for a game where we make cute creatures kill each other in cold blood. But I guess we can try like a ball sport. You know, like the sports ball games. Uh -huh. I guess uh, we have no shame since we're the MC. We can ask uh, big shots like the general. But I will say the music, none of it's really been like earwormy material. It's very, very ambient. You know, the music's very ambient to me. Hey, we got a little puffer fishes. Wait, what? The music changed. Seems kind of out of place for this conversation. It's like almost romantic music. When do we download this game? I have no idea when this game is going to be released, unfortunately. Um, I mean, for that matter, we don't even know when closed beta is over. What, you scared, bro? <laughs> Come on, bro, you scared? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I see. So we got the whole, like, um... You no, know, you need the... Have a strong bond and friendship with your Pokemons. A temporary team. <clears throat> so it's interesting. His neck, this article of clothing goes all the way up to his jawline. And even to his hairline. I don't think I've ever seen any clothes like that. Unless his body's like... No, 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 it's definitely close. He's, he's got human flesh underneath. You can see the human flesh clearly. They have um, armpit windows for husbandos in this game. I wonder if he does the Yilan pose. Show off his pits. I wonder if he shaves his pits. Huh. Now I'm curious to see if he has armpit hair. <laughs> Probably not the detail that most of us are curious about. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, tutorial has gems. Okay. Yeah. How goes the emergency stream? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun. And this was a really last minute stream for me. Because I was like, oh god, the closed beta is now at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And then, um, and then I, I haven't even set this computer up for streaming yet because I upgraded my computer like many months ago a few months ago so i was like okay i gotta set all this stuff up and i gotta try streaming this game right when it pops right because it looks interesting I, I i've been curious about a potential genshin competitor for quite some time entire fantasy well you know it tried it tried its best but this one has more promise this one has more promise Delusional Kuro fans more like weeds because Kuro's Japanese company. Oh wait, is PGR a Japanese company? I don't know why they struck me as a Chinese company. 
Yeah. Okay. First time you see me streaming? Hey, what's up, Sora? I've uh, streamed in the past. You can go to my live tab and see, but i um, happy to have you guys join me here for our first foray into Wuthering Waves. And Genshin more like Sam skill. An ulti, WW is QTE, Dodge, Parry. Okay, yeah, yeah, I thought Kuro is a Chinese company. That's what I thought, but... I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. I mean, um, the fact that it has Chinese dubs and not the others, as far as I'm aware. Wait, what? Okay. Really? Re hang on, guys. We got gamer mode. It's time to start sweating. What do we do? Huh? Jump. What's this? Arrow. Whoa. All right. We got Diddy Kong racing in the house. Let's go. This is the water levels for Diddy Kong racing. All right, the chumps behind me, like, what are they doing? They're not even using the speed boosters. They're not using their mushrooms. Man, we, we crushed those scrubs. Look at that. Pro Diddy Kong racer here. Oh, man. But yeah, it looks like they're following the they're, they're following the recipe of mini games, right? You got the core combat mechanics, and you got these goofy goofy mini games. Hey, they finally added some humor though, right? Like I think that's like the first joke I've seen in this game. <laughs> Where an NPC? Oh wait, no, now I'm killing them. Oh no, that's so sad. You guys were just my buddies like five seconds ago. Well, you know what. Such is the cruel fate of Pokemon. Sometimes you just gotta beat the crap out of them. Wait, what? I didn't win? I got attacked? Is that what happened? Okay, I, 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 to I totally missed that plot point. <laughs> I totally missed it that... Man, what a twist. What a crazy turn of events in this event. Wow. Man. Here I thought we were drowning the competition. But instead, we ended up just being all washed up. What a shame. Oh, Gold Puffs. That's the name of these critters, I think. Yeah, okay. Dang, there's something more sinister behind the Gold Puffs. Wow. It's gonna be quite... Quite a conundrum we find ourselves in. The Gold Puff conspiracy theory. Oh man, okay. All right, maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna go explore a bit instead of beating up on some puffballs. You know what? Yeah, let, let's go. Let's go. Um, I'm kind of evacuate the audience now. Y'all can stand there and deal with the raging gold puffs. I'm gonna go pick pick some uh, fragrant plants and touch some grass. There we go, gorilla. But the music is so ominous. Can I change it? Here, let, let's let's track this one instead. Yeah. That. 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 Yeah, we made it. Oh, okay. There's like scenery. I wonder if the ominous music, like it doesn't expect you to just leave the quest. Right? So if the ominous music is going to stay... Because I'm just leaving them all to hang. What's that? Okay, I gotta collect these balls. So many ball collections. We're running up the mountain. Getting some primo gems. Wait, what? Is this where I need to go? Hey, we did it. We did it. Okay. I think 
Let's let's grab some waypoints. There's this goddess statue over here that I haven't grabbed yet. So I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for the goddess statues and some waypoints on the way. And that'll be uh, the current objective. And I'll try not to get too sidetracked. So this waypoint. Oh man, okay. I might, I might just finish that part of the quest because this ominous music ain't Ain't the proper ambience for uh, going around collecting butterflies. <laughs> right, we got doom and gloom in the background. And here I'm, I'm catching some butterflies. We got a bunch of sleeping turtles. You know what? Let's let them sleep. We don't have to kill every critter that we run across. Oh, okay. Here's a little kerfuffle. Hello. Don't mind me. We got our QTEs, ultimates. Man, this critter thought I was here to help. Nope. I'm sure he's very disappointed. Yeah, I don't really think I should be switching to the healer much for attacking, right? They're still trying to kill each other. I think I'm the bigger threat here. Oh. Yeah, we got this bear thing. A spear back. Stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Next waypoint. Oh, we got sidetracked, see? Oh man, we're getting sidetracked again. Huh? Okay. And... How many of these... Four torches. Oh, wait. Do we have to hit them in a specific order? Uh. Okay, you know what? This is well beyond what my pea brain can handle. <laughs> We're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. Alright, grab some stuff. Okay, I might go just evacuate the prisoners because this music ain't doing it for me. Let's, let's, let's do it after this waypoint. And I swear I saw a giant robot moving around. Oh, yeah! Can we catch this thing? Giant spider bot. What the? Wait. Did I just nuke the goat? I was like, <laughs> my character don't like goats. Here we go. Oh wait, that doesn't attack. It doesn't do damage. I forgot. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm my way over there. Okay. Is it frozen? How did I freeze it? Okay. I I really got to learn the combat mechanics for this game because I got no idea what's going on. All right. Give me the big guy. No. Oh man, you can't catch the giant spider robot leg? Okay. Or maybe it's like a percent chance to get it. Right? Like maybe there's a chance to get it. Okay, let's keep going. Grab this waypoint, evacuate the dude so I can get back to the normal music. And then we'll keep exploring. Let's go. Alright. Get this uh, ominous music out of the way. Ugh. All right. Wait, what? Oh, okay, it's just a dude. Ooh, something shiny. No, 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 no. Stay focused. We have absolute, resolute will. We will finish this task. Get out of here! Evacuate! That was really fun. Is he like poisoned or something? Did he just get hurt or... Did he get a bruise? 
Wait, it's not caused by the gold puffs, huh? Why are we evacuating them? Oh man, what happened? What's this grand conspiracy? Frankly, I've been more invested in the gold puff conspiracy than anything else in this game in terms of the story so far. Hey, what's up, dude? Is this like a giant conspiracy due to some crazy industrial complex? Is it the big gold puff industrial complex? It's corrupting everything, maximize their profits at the cost of the locals' health? Or perhaps something else happened. Wait, something about frequency resonating? Oh man, okay, that's uh, that's not as interesting to me. Okay, can we just get the ominous music out of the way? I just want, I want my, I want my pretty tunes back in the background. Yeah, are we good? We good. All right. No more of this silly stuff. Let's keep exploring. Let's go. We're going to go here, head south, grab the waypoint, and then head west. Ooh, tower. Go up the tower. Wee. <laughs> I wish I could climb up ladders like that. That's like Jackie Chan stunt levels. Dang, I just gliding up this tower here. You know, Wuthering Waves, I feel like they play Genshin and they hated climbing the stuff, climbing walls and stuff. So they're like, we ain't doing that in our game, guys. You're just going to be able to straight up walk up the walls. And personally, I feel like canonically, like, Gan Yu should be able to just walk up the walls, right? Because she, she's a goat. You know, like, have you guys seen goats, like, climb mountains? They just, like, walk up it. But Gan Yu can't. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, let's just keep heading south. Let's keep heading south. Oh! like a warp trotter oh no oh man i didn't think it would just die like that oh man i feel guilty but hey it had 10 primo gems it had to go no mercy for things that carry primo gems you will perish so i can i can get my gambling addiction fix oh god oh god okay I hate it when that happens in Genshin. <laughs> you just slide down the mountain like you think you're climbing it. And then you end up at the bottom. Okay. Wait, did I say west? I meant east. Now we'll track this bad boy. We'll track this bad boy. There we go. We unlock some goddess statues here. And maybe after I unlock a couple. Uh, we'll check on how much currency is. I don't think we really got much additional currency, so, um, might have to take a break after that. Wee! Okay, that's pretty satisfying, but, uh, we're gonna make, we're gonna be able to make it. Mayday, mayday! We're going down! Hopefully I don't drown in the water again. Come on. Okay. Home stretch. What was that? Oh, we can grappling hook ourselves out of the water. That's nice. Okay, I saw something shiny over here. Where was it? There was something shiny here, right? Am I just crazy? Okay, never mind. 
Wait, no, there, there's a there's a chest icon right here. All right, I'm having some trouble finding the treasure, guys. Maybe I need to use like this thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so you got to use that thing to reveal stuff. And what did that What did that do for me? Hey. Yep. Okay, so you got to use the sensor to reveal hidden things. In order to... So, it actually is much more... Uh, let's be real. <laughs> useful and engaging than Elemental Sight. Like, Elemental Sight is like a meme. You know, like, you just use it in certain story quests to track, like, some treasure hoarder that's farting Elemental Energy. Right? But here, it... That's kind of cool that it revealed that, like, hidden thing or whatever it was. So, that's, that's uh, good. Hey, you gonna reveal the map for me, bro? Yeah? Is it already revealed? I guess so. Okay. Okay, let's unlock this one. I think I saw a quest for that. So, um, we're gonna kill these all these birds with one stone, hopefully. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll crack this one. And we'll start from here and start grabbing the ones in the city. And then... And then we're going to unlock a bit more of the map. And see how things are. Alright, what do you guys think about the game so far, huh? Let's see, I forgot we even had Elemental Sight. Exactly. Hey, shiny chest. Alright. So this city definitely feels, got some like, um, Eastern, kind of more like Chinese vibes in it, which is pretty cool. You know? It reminds me of the Shenzhou Luofu, actually. Oh wait, I was looking for a chest here. Chest. Where's the chest? There it is. Okay, I, I used my grappling hook too prematurely. I prematurely grappled there. Okay, and now we're going to go for Teleport Waypoint. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Said absolutely no one. <laughs> oh yeah, do certain character... Oh, look at that! So her E... Oh, I, I actually got a foul too! I killed one of the birds! You should really get an achievement for that. <laughs> okay, I'm digging that. I don't, I don't think that was much... The, the gunning part wasn't much faster. But the style points... Yeah, that's, that's, that's where it's at. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. There we go. Thought I was softlocked for a sec. Oh, God. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, we got that thing. Where's the waypoint? There it is. I'm gonna grab this waypoint real quick. Yeah, there's definitely some jank with the vertical exploration of this game. <laughs> definitely some jank, but it's not like this level of jank. The game is still in. Oh, I completely skipped that one. Whatever. But this level of jank is, like, acceptable to me, personally. And, you know, everyone's going to be different. Everyone's going to have their own opinion about, like, does this game feel, like, cheap or crappy or whatever. For me, the jank is acceptable. Right, kind of like, um... And, and kind of experiencing a very similar, but still new. It, it, it's still a new... Genshin-like experience. And that's good, right? I mean, if you can't tell, like, you know, obviously Genshin Impact is overall my favorite game. So... To kind of get that experience again. But with, you know, 
the unique spin of Weathering Waves. I've been having fun. Like, if I wasn't having fun, let me tell you. I'd be asleep right now. I, I'd be in bed. This, this is past my bedtime. <laughs> this is past my bedtime. So, having a good time. Having a good time. <clears throat> okay. And... All right. Oh, we got a chest down there. It looks like we got to earn it. We got to earn our chest here. How does it work? Okay, so these ones, I don't understand how they work. Because they... Hmm. Do I have to shoot both really quickly? No, I don't think that's it. Do I have to pierce them? Can, can I pierce? You know what? These puzzles are too five head for me. These puzzles are too five head for me. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> uh, I'm moving on. Those five Primo gems. I wish I had you, but we got to part ways for now. Oh yeah, I got to optimize them. Overworld traversal. We got to figure out. Oh, I wonder if some of the critters help you move faster. Like the golem. Where the golem was shoulder charging like that. So another cool thing about this game so far is that I feel like the cities and the areas are large. Like if you actually think about the size of Mondstadt, it's tiny. Like you can have like maybe a couple hundred people living there. I mean, maybe someone's like actually done the calculations for it, but the amount of buildings and stuff the area is actually really tiny. Now this feels bigger. Although it's very empty and, and like lifeless. Right? So while it does feel bigger, it feels very empty. Like, look, you just got these two NPCs and that's it. Like this is a major industrial area. And is that a door? I've never seen a door this freaking big. <laughs> but maybe they're letting like big vehicles in and stuff, so... I'll let it, I'll let it slide. I, I'm just nitpicking. I'm just nitpicking at that point, right? So let's uh, get a couple teleport waypoints. We'll grab this one real quick and then we'll head to the city. Hey, a chest we don't have to do some five head puzzles for. Wee. All right. Okay. So next goal, we're going to head towards this goddess statue. Let's unlock it. I'm gonna open up the map first. I always I always prefer doing this in new regions. Like, well, that applies to this game now, since it's got its regions. Okay, how are we gonna handle this? We're gonna climb up the wall. Over here. And we're gonna a little grappling hook. Yeah. It does feel good, like the grappling hook feels very satisfying to do. Right. And okay, we got we got some rocks. Let's beat up some rocks. They started it. Okay. Alright, so it seems like the teleport range is a bit limited. We saw there my character didn't like immediately snap to the enemy. It started like beating Oh, it's immune. It's immune to fire damage. Oh yeah, I forgot. While you're in um, that stage, that state, you're not invincible. Is there... The charge shots do 28 damage. Flurry of attacks do way more damage. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like... Um, I think her charge shots are kind of... Meh? Is she more like Yo and Mia then? Okay, what's this? Oh.
Uh huh. Where's the third one? Am I? Oh man, these are these puzzles. Does it show you where they fly from? Wait, what? Wait, do I have to kill the stoplight? Oh, there it is. Behind the tree. Okay. Tell me I can catch... Hey, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Okay, tell me I can catch a little stoplight mon... Oh my god, it's my new best friend. It's my new best friend. Look at this guy. It's the little stoplight dude. With arms and legs. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well. Yes! We can absorb him. New Echo. Traffic Illuminator. I'm sorry, Lizard. I have a new best friend. And it ain't you. It's gonna be my little stoplight buddy. There we go. Immobilize an enemy. Okay. It's very fitting for it's uh, all red. Very symbolic. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to see if uh, the golem can help me travel faster. Huh. Whoa. Okay. I I'm not sure if the golem is faster. Wait, oops. I guess if you press and hold it. All right, there's a cube. Yeah, we got our portal cube right here. That. That. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, so T. <laughs> T is to pick it up. And it's also a bunch of other stuff like the grappling hook. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. One shot wonder right here. Ugh! Oh, man. I missed. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We can do this. Oh, my gosh. Wait, no. You teleported back. All right, we can't have too much fun here, guys. We gotta, we gotta just, man, get out of that tree. Oh, okay. And I'm having a battle here with the box. No more box shenanigans. We're just doing this the old-fashioned way. There we go. No need to be flashy. Hey, what's up with that? All right. There we go. At least we can set stuff on fire reliably. Oh, okay. We need a third thing to put on it. Uh, can we put this on it? Can we put this on it? Hey, we can. All right. Ten more Primo gems. We're almost there, guys. We're almost to our Constellation 6. Uh, General Jin Yuan and Biber Lune. Any Primo Gem now. Freeze! Wait, it didn't really do anything. Ow. Let's try it again. Let's give our buddy another four seconds for a little traffic like buddy to try again. Wait. Huh. Okay. I love his design. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta go back to our lizard. Linny the lizard. That's a good name for our lizard. There we go. Uh, huh. Well, that explains it. So we gotta break four of those things. Let's give it a try. You know what? Let's do a new puzzle. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Yeet! Okay. They don't call me LeBron James for nothing. Can we aim it? Like... Can we aim it? Not really. You can't really aim it. I tried. All right. Here we go. Man, that was really anticlimactic. That huge thing getting destroyed, collecting three different things for a standard chest. I expected it to be at least a luxurious chest. 
right? At least, like, one of these chests. Oh, this thing again. Okay. Let's go. This time I'm ready. How do I eat up again? Oh god, the camera sensitivity is too much. All right, we're going full throttle. Oh no! We're back! We're back! Okay. <laughs> there we go. 2100 points. That's how you do it. <clears throat> Yeah, we pro fly hers. Get it? Because we turn into a fly. And we fly. Whoa! Okay, it's the big robot dude again. I'm going to see if we can catch it, because the last one we couldn't catch it. I do wonder, is it like 100% catch rate for the first time you interact with the monster? Yeah, I really got to figure out like some um, <clears throat> actual gameplay mechanics in this game. Because, yes! We can capture it! Alright, guys. I'm not going to lie. The Pokemon feature has been my favorite thing about this game. The critter system. The critter system is where I'm sold. Okay. I think we dropped the lizard for the giant robot. It's a tough choice. Wait, I'm in combat? Oh. <laughs> Laser. Lizard. Hey, come on, you can aim better than that. Oh, so she did teleport that time. Last time I thought that I didn't... Wait, but what is going on with my camera? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. Yeah, yeah, let's equip the big robot now. Big robot, big robot. Check it out. Yeah. All right. And we're going to put... We're going to put... Um... The bear. We haven't tried the bear yet. Oops. Okay. So Ursa Luna uses Fury Swipes and it activates all five times. Pretty good. It's got the loaded dice item. <laughs> okay. I can dig that. I can dig it. That's pretty cool. So I guess the monsters though, they don't like persist for too long, right? So it's kind of just literally just like an ability. It's just like an, a second elemental skill, essentially. This is really cool. I mean, it's still cool that every character can customize that. And because they can customize it, it's going to add a lot of gameplay variety and a lot of interesting ways to optimize. All right, let's keep going. We're going to keep getting some more goddess statues because I'm fixated. We're going to reveal the map. Reveal the map today. That's the goal. I don't think we'll be able to get um, the five star character today, but we can reveal the map. I'm happy with that. I keep getting distracted. Oh man, every shiny little thing. I mean, since we're playing Pokemon anyway, I feel like I'm Meowth, you know? Grabbing every little shiny thing. Hey, we got our Aramite buddies. Does it freeze them? Oh, so it creates a wall though. Yeah, there's going to be so many interesting interactions between oh it's got a really long cooldown what's the aoe on this okay it's a frontal AOE. oh there's more dudes whoa is that chick just like floating in the air laser yeah there we go there we go that's how her Elemental skill works. So she can just press and hold to gun? Wait, what? I, I thought I could press and hold to gun. Okay, whatever. 
Okay, so that's a radial AoE ultimate. Interesting. And she can shoot them from the air? She can't use her skill in the air. Oh, well, was that a finishing blow? I do wonder if there's iframes on the swap. That'd be good to know. <clears throat> Finally trying to pay attention a bit to the uh, battle mechanics, but... Fine for now, we don't need to pay too much attention. No need to get sweaty yet. Hey! You tell me the big guys at least drop a little bit more meat. No, oh, just one each? Oh, whoa, where'd you come from? Yeah, all the Pokemon just beat him up. <laughs> hey, what the? There we go. He has some ragdoll physics there, which I appreciate. All right, climbing up this mountain. Oh, what? Wait, what? No, 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 I don't want to go down there. Can I not climb this one? Okay, I can. Interesting. Yeah, so with how fast the exploration is. Oh, okay, let's do some cooking. Yep, we got our ingredients. Okay. Get me get me out of here. I read it. Bro, I read this. Really gotta time me out like that, huh? Okay, anyway. Cook! Yeah, no mini game. Just straight up cook. Alright. I can respect that decision. Level eleven. We go on places. Whoa, look at that big dude. Can I catch him? Oh, cool. He's even got a cool voice. Oh, okay. He's, um... Uh, more of a lightweight than I expected. He, he looked tougher than he was. Oh, we got Slender Man. We got... Dr. Octo here. <laughs> it's pretty fun to gun him down. It doesn't look very optimal in terms of DPS, but... Oh, oh my gosh, get me up there. Get me up there. Ah! <laughs> it, it doesn't look very optimal in terms of DPS, but it is satisfying. Okay. Alright. Huh? Oh, it's a small loot box, I guess. Got some iron ore. Got some... Scarlet Horns. Did I grab that teleport waypoint already? I did. Okay. We're heading down here. Long walk. Long walk. So, I do think, like, kind of the region, it's very uniform. Like, it all looks the same. Shoot them all. Alright, we shouting now. Who needs Shan Yun? Oh god. <laughs> oh, I see the plunge attacks, I think, consume stamina. Right? Yeah, they do. Okay, they consume stamina. Laser. Robot. Wait, the robot got cancelled? Alright, let's see the bear. Let's see the bear. Okay, yeah, a little disappointing. I think my critters aren't scaling as well as my characters are right now. Except for the laser man. Laser man's so good. Alright. That does look like Tower Fantasy. 
it's got the combination of futuristic with um you know with fantasy Yeah, this game does feel much more polished. Oh, look at this. Now it's purple. Good to see a bit of a change here. In the scenery. Now we have a purple area. The game is fun. It's not as buggy, for sure, as Tower of Fantasy. Oh, you can level up the Pokemons. All right, all right. Let's level up Laser Man. Let's see. Upgrade. What? I... I'm confused. I'm confused by this. I upgraded from zero to zero? What does this do? Okay. It's still level zero, I guess. Well, I think he's upgraded. Let's see if he does more damage. If I remember, he did like 50-ish damage, right? I wish I could just burn it with Pyro, but I guess I can't. Oh, maybe the... Ow. <laughs> no. Okay. So you have to use um, this mechanic here. You get burned by it like Dendro, like the burning aura. No. Following the trail of butterflies. Disappear in a sea of butterflies. There we go. We got our five primo gems. Oh, look at the moon. Ooh, there's a box. Okay, I'll grab the box real quick. I don't want to commit too much time to random puzzles. I set out to accomplish a goal. Blah, blah. Okay, <laughs> we did it. I did it, Mom. Okay. Keep going. Pray and pray, duelies. Yeah. Best type of playstyle. Yeah, I don't understand how her skill works. Sometimes she'll do the hold fire. Like this. Sometimes she'll just do a slide. Sometimes she'll run out of bullets prematurely. I'm sure there's an explanation for it all. We'll get to that puzzle in a sec. Stretch. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Ooh, a more shiny area. And this here looks like a giant ape. <laughs> you get to fight a giant ape. Alright, where was that puzzle? There's another puzzle. So these puzzles are... Some of these puzzles are pretty straightforward. It's literally just... Find a red ball and throw it at that thing. Where's the red ball though? That's the challenge sometimes, is finding where that red ball is. And we got this puzzle over here. Oh, here it is. Ah! Oh, I hit it. <laughs> I'll take it. Good shot. Oh, they can't get very far from it. Did it burn the foliage all the way up here? It did. Oh yeah. Ah! I always use the grappling hook on accident. Alright, so we can yeet this thing down there. 
And then we can grab the burning ball. And then we can stand on the other weight. Okay, so we need a third thing. Looks like uh, we can burn whatever that is, so we'll just yeet it over. And... Is there something else here? Assuming there is, right? Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yep, we got another friendly cube. Yeeting, yeeting stuff in this game does feel pretty nice. It's got a satisfying, like, impact to it, you know? Like... <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. I froze. Okay, <laughs> that was an interesting bug. It's subtle, but I was pressing stuff, and my character was like, What am I doing? I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's spend our resin, too. Let's just go get some EXP books. Let's see what the resin spending is like. I've been so distracted by exploring the overworld. But that's a good thing, right? Like, you know, you're you're enjoying the getting distracted with the overworld and stuff. Okay, anyway. Let's see. How do I spend my resin? Help! Is it this thing? Oh gosh. Where's the where's the book thing again? Is it this book? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need I need EXP. What's this? Weapon EXP, right? Echo. So we have Echo EXP, Weapon EXP, and Character EXP. Let's go grab some of that. And we'll farm a little bit. Oh, we just talked to this guy. Okay. Whoa. He's got a... Look at this uh, grizzled man here. Yeah, he looks pretty good. The good looking grizzled dude. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, I see. So all the challenges are here. We have the coins, we have all the different EXPs, so let's just, uh, yeah, let's farm up a bit. Let's level up everyone to 40. And, okay, music here sounds pretty nice. Anyway, here we go. And do the EQ spam. And maybe once my characters are out of the EQ spam, I can do her gunning stuff, but you know, really have to learn a bit of combat. We got the two thick boys. Alright, go get him, Bear. Go get him, Ursaluna. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta let the Pokemon do the work. Alright, claim awards. Yes, please, and thank you. We'll retry again. We can do this a few times. Level up our characters. Alright, don't make me start from way back here. Ancient Impact learned their les lesson with this, and they just put you right in front of the key. That's where it's at. Okay. I didn't pay attention to how much the laser was doing. How much is it doing now after I leveled them up? 57? Well, I guess it's a small upgrade. Oops. Look at that. This is why I play FPSs. <laughs> Can I move the laser after? No, I can't. I can't move the laser after. Confirm. Okay. Yeah, we're just doing... I guess this is how you spend your resin. It's just... These are basically... Like, the artifact domains and stuff. Okay. 
I should probably try one of the grouping Pokemon to see if I can group them all up like Venti. Yeah, these guys are pretty weak, right? Only level 20. Okay, everyone's so split up now. How much does the plunge attack do? Oops, well, I guess we won't find out for a bit. Yeah! <laughs> we got a robot. There we go. Okay, the laser and the robot are really satisfying. Although I question the longevity of the robot because I think you cancel it. I think it gets canceled prematurely if you switch too fast. I'm not sure. Um, I have to pay more, a little bit more attention. Okay, let's try a grouping uh, character on her. It was like the wind sprite, right? This This dude. Yeah, create a low pressure area to gather enemies. Do you have anything else that does that? Pokemon? Oh, this guy gives you a shield, okay. Electro laser. Persistent havoc prism. Fusion damage. Okay, yeah, we'll just we'll just try this real quick. It it, it looks pretty weak, but you know. Don't hurt to try. Okay, let's level people up. Oh, oops. All right, we're going to level you up. Let's see. All right, we made it up to 40 already. Cool. But I think I used everything. Now, oh, this character's stuck at 20 anyway. Oh, no, never mind. We got the stars. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's bring everyone up to like 40, 40, 40, right? Bring everything up. So maybe we can fight the world boss again. And not take 10 years to kill it. Oh, wow. All the way up to level 50. Interesting. So do I want to get rid of these items? Let me, let me look at the weapons, see if there's any three stars or whatever worth keeping. It's like Genshin Impact, obviously, like Thrilling Tales and stuff like that. You know, that stuff is really good. Okay. So, I'm assuming these are like one star items. Right, so all these one-star items look really bad. They don't have anything special about them. So these must be like three-star. Yeah, these ones must be like three-star weapons. Okay, no, no, that's EXP. Like this sword. Within 12 seconds after the wearer enters the battlefield, attack is increased by eight seconds for every two seconds. Reset six seconds after four stacks are gained. So you have to... You have to stay on the field for this? I mean, it sounds pretty decent. Every 12 seconds, the wearer gains 6 stacks of Oath Keeping upon entering battlefield. Each stack of Oath Keeping increases attack by 8% up to 6 stacks. The stack is removed every 2 seconds. Yeah, we're already getting to some convoluted uh, stack stuff. Let me look at the weapon I have equipped. Okay, so I'm just not going to auto-add the 3 stars. I'm sure someone else has, like, you know, people have already figured this stuff out, so... Uh, I'm not going to sweat it too much. So let's, um, yeah, let's just finish upgrading our weapons and stuff. Oh, dang. This one takes way more EXP. Oh, I see. We're bringing it up to 30 compared to this one. Okay, so let's farm. Okay, let's see if we have enough for a temple. And then if we get any more weapons, we'll level those up. And if not, then, um, oops. Okay, so these are just additional missions. Grab whatever currency I have. Okay, tutorials. Someone said there's like primo gems here, but I'm not. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the gems here. Oh, these ones. Oh, oh, counterattack. Yeah, counterattack. The enemy use specific move. A flaw circle will appear. At this time, if you hit the enemy, you can make a counterattack. 
I see. So if they have this circle, you hit them, and you do stuff. That's how that works. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't see any primo gems here. Yeah. Let's see. Trophies. Okay, we'll grab this stuff. Grab this stuff. Yeah, I don't think I have that much additional currency. Oh yeah, there was that thing where when you level up your... What's this? Okay, that must be the world level. But there was somewhere where you could click on and you could collect... You could collect, like, your adventure rank um, levels. Awakening Journey. Rumbling Hollows. Depth. You guys know? Yeah, world level. Yeah, once you level up, like, this thing. Union EXP. There was somewhere where you could click on it. But I don't see where you can click on it. Pioneer Podcast? No, that's the Battle Pass. <laughs> Missions, friends. Oh man, just just convene? Is that it? No, that, that's the warp. Okay. Map, backpack. Obviously not the backpack, right? Huh. Alright. Tutorials, trophies, guidebook. Okay, I think I'm just crazy or something, but I swear there was something that I was clicking to get a bunch of resources. Right? And I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, data bank. Yeah, it is here. Oh, it's the data bank. It's not, it's not your trailblaze level or adventure rank level. So do you get rewards for your adventure rank? Level of relic. Delivery has been upgraded. Let, let's take a quick look at this. Take a quick look at whatever this relic delivery thing is. What? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, she just did a flip. Yeah, look at that flip. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Man, every character in this game is pro at parkour. Okay, what is this thing? Give me primo gems. One primo gem, please. Okay. All right, let's skip. I'm getting tired. What is this? Oh! Okay. Yeah, this is the, um... We're collecting Oculi. That's what this is. So we have the Oculus system. Ew. Wow. Oh, we got a couple pulls! You know what that means. It's time for more degeneracy. Oh, hey doggo. Okay, one more a pull. That's all we can afford today. Last a pull for the day. Oh, ten pull. It's discounted. I like that they have a guaranteed beginner's banner. That's good. And it looks like it's still another. Oh my god! I swear, if I get another constellation of one of the starters, yeah, we got we got another constellation for one of the starters. Are there any of the four stars that we don't have in the pool? Or is it just the starters? Let's take a look. Take a look. Oh god, this is so laggy. No, there's nine! There's nine, but I keep getting the three! Oh, well. Oh, whoa, the game is lagging like crazy. What's going on? Get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh god. 
We got a memory leak, boys. Is it my computer? Am I freezing? Uh oh. Oh boy, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Okay. I think I'm good. Yeah, that whatever happened there, the game the game has some crazy memory leak. Okay. Hopefully like progress wasn't reset. Yeah, no, we good. We good. Okay. Yeah, the gotcha page. Oh man, yeah, my, my computer just shit the bed when that happened. Holy cow. Alright. Claim whatever this is. And oh yeah. Okay. I think um I think we'll 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 check out this character too while we're at it. I think I've been using uh, the same three for a while, so let's let's oh, that's not how you switch characters. Okay, we're gonna switch her off and we'll try the blue girl. And here we go. So she also uses a sword. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just upgrade this to 20. Let's give her a try. And um equip a critter. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, I see. It's the fire version of that. All right, that's fine. And we'll just this auto equip. That's fine. And we also got one of her Eidolons. Arrow damage bonus is increased. Okay, so it, it seems a little more impactful than the 3%. Unless, again, that 3% is party-wide, then, it, then it's better, right? Let's go ahead. We'll spend our resin. Um, and then we're going to go fight a boss. A world boss, and then I'll probably call it a day after that. So we'll see. Okay, we need more character EXP. Let's go. Character EXP. I think I can only afford uh, one more run, actually. Because I only have enough stamina. Yeah, because the world boss is probably going to cost 80 as well. I'll save some stamina for that. Okay, yeah, let's try let's try the venti. Yeah, it's not really sucking them in. So that's okay. Okay, so let's try charge attack. Oh, that's cool. Aerial combos. Dodge. Okay, so that attack seemed pretty stubby. And I don't think she attacks with her E. Yeah, I still don't know what the healer girl really does. Okay, grab this EXP. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna fight that world boss from earlier. Get, see, if, see if I've uh, leveled up enough to get some revenge. Because, now I like the gunner girl more. I'm gonna, wait, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just stick with her for now. And we've got 
Upgrade her real quick. 33. That's good enough. Got our weapon here. Gonna upgrade this too. Good enough. And we're gonna upgrade her robot buddy too. We're gonna see if uh, that helps. So, sure. Okay, so this one says level 10. Instead of the other one, which said level 0. That's interesting. Alright. Whatever. We going for it. <clears throat> Where's that dude that we fought earlier? Here you are. I'm I'm gonna see if we get some revenge on this guy. Cause last time it was a stalemate. Let's just say it was a stalemate. He was uh, way too uh way too beefy for me. So let's go. Alright, let's go beat up this boss. And then, and then we'll call it a day. Here we go. Hello, friend. I've missed you. Pretty cool entrance. How do I do for the continuous gunning thing with her? Oh yeah, yeah, look at how much damage it's already taking compared to before. Oh wow, 171 damage. Four hundred and ninety with the critter. I keep pressing Q to do the ultimate. That is uh <laughs> that is a habit from Genshin Impact. Oh yeah, we got the laser. Whoa, that did 400 damage for some reason. Oh, wow. She's got some she's got some moves. Oh, I see. So that was a good opportunity for me to hit him cuz he had the little counter thing showing. We got a cryo nuke right there. Laser. Ow. Okay, so it's probably going to do the vulnerability thing? No? Uh oh. Oh man, I'm getting comboed here. Alright. Oh, we can catch him, we can catch him. Yes. Okay, we caught a new Pokemon too. Oh, 60. Alright, good thing I saved the resin for that. So we got... Crownless's drop, Resonator Breakthrough. Oh, Crownless, okay. I heard people mentioning the crown list. I wonder if this is what they're talking about. If they nerf this this dude here. Wow, he's cool though. Transform into crown list. Continuously attack enemies. All right, let's just give it a quick try. Oh, okay, so it's got a full like four hit normal attack combo. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Whew. Uh oh. Okay, so uh I think my stream's having some issues, but um Yeah, I think that's it for me, guys. I had a really good time. Thank you so much for Excuse me. Thank you so much for joining me. I might stream this game again tomorrow. Uh we'll see cuz I, I do have the day off, but I do also have to take care of the kid too. So um, I'll try to stream this game tomorrow as well, and we'll continue on from there. So, thank you everyone uh, for joining. Really appreciate that. Uh, you know, you guys always, um, you guys mean so much to me, and really appreciate it. All right, peace out, guys. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. I want to lose, signing out.